Hello, folks. Welcome to Nate Land. Uh, let you know today we are brought to you by uh, Solo Stove. Spring is here, and we're very excited. This is a brand new uh, at Solo Stove. Uh, we get a, we sit outside a lot with our neighbors. This is a wonderful like kind of a, it's a free it's like a fire pit. And right now, Solo Stove is offering a free fire pit stand with the purchase of any smokeless less smokeless fire pit to get your free stand with purchase. Go to solostove.com, promo code Nate. That's a free fire pit stand with the purchase of any smokeless fire pit. Just go to solostove.com and use promo code Nate at checkout. Also, also we're brought to you by Mac Weldon, another new brand. This is very exciting. Mac Weldon offers the best in men's basics, and you can get yours today with my special offer for all the listeners. Twenty percent off your first order. Visit macweldon.com slash nate and enter promo code nate. That is macweldon.com slash nate promo code nate for twenty percent off your first order. Uh, welcome everybody to uh, uh, Nate. The history of Nate. Lynn. I don't know. <laughs> that was <laughs> good. Go. That was a good one. I'm watching you do these <clears throat> incredible promos. <clears throat> I want to go uh, get all those things right now. By the way, so uh, we we got, we got a guest. Uh, here today, someone that they people wanted to know because I've talked about you on the podcast and they think that we don't know each other. Uh, but here we are. Here it is, dude. Shay from it's so Dan good and to Shay. meet you uh, for the Welcome. first time today. Shay Mooney uh, from Dan and Shay. We tried to get Dan. Yeah, was the original goal. You wait till you guys wait till you meet Dan. Yeah, it's, inc- it's uh, incredible. So let's get through this one. <laughs> I. Is it? There we go. <laughs> she, when I've always wanted to ask Shay, I always talk about I don't know anything about music, right? Yeah. But it, I think I, people know that. Yeah. Probably, yeah. But I love your music. Why is that? <sighs> I'm joking. That was a joke. Why is that? I don't know, Nate. It's pretty good. I thought about I, a joke um... a while ago. Uh, <laughs> just to go in and go. Shay, I have a terrible taste in music, but I love what you do. Why? Yeah. Go ahead and tell me why. Why, is that? why do you think that is? What do you think the yeah. deal with that is? Yeah. What do you think that? the correlation between yeah, yeah. horrible music and what you do? And what you yeah. do. I don't even those connect. So people make fun of my music choices, Shay. Yeah. And I listen to you mainly the whole time. Why do you think that is? People are furious with the, with the music I choose to play in my car. It's always you guys. So. I've been listening to... Honestly, uh, I do. I'm a big Dan and Shay fan. Well, thank you. And uh, truthfully, and uh, I was been listening to Dan and Shay radio. Yeah, uh, and that's pretty good. They, <laughs> like it's yeah, Dan and Shay. Like I've liked uh, listening to the radio that you get to bounce around. Yeah, I know people do that a lot for comedy, uh, and I'm sure way more people do it for music than comedy. <laughs> but I only know my world. And then I've started doing. I would listen to you guys, and then you they play. You're like, this is a really good. It's all these. I'm getting better with music. Yeah, is what well, that's I'm good though. Yeah, you know, that's a good progression. I haven't listened to your radio oh, enough. 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 Oh, that's what I was saying. Enough. That was the joke. I'm a comedian, yeah. so you got to stay with me here. That's true. <laughs> so, I'm not quick enough. You know, you're you not. Know? But it's you know, I I got to check. Uh, you know, I got to check out your radio station as well. I don't really yeah. know. So you're talking about like when you when you pull on Dan and Shay radio that plays other music that is yeah kind of curated for yeah that. you do it because you're trying to not get any Dan and Shay yeah. stuff. <laughs> And that's, and so, that's usually how it goes. That's how like, it goes. I'd like to listen to Dan and Shay Radio. You go, I'm trying to attack the, the most direct thing to yeah. like, how do I not get this? Yeah. You go, I like what Dan and Shay is trying to do. Yeah. But, but uh, I want to hear some other people do who's it better. Who's gotten there yeah. already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. To, people who have figured it out. They like to hear them. It's, uh, yeah, like I do YouTube music and then it's Spotify and all this. So yeah. you just listen to, and it's just like music like Dan and Shay. Yeah. And so it's a it's wide variety. Right, yeah. It's uh, uh, Rip Vance Joy. Yeah. I like Vance Joy. That pops up on you guys. Very nice. A mix over. Then you have like Darius and Brett Young. And uh, I wonder how much people like in their mind, the people who are played next, do they judge you based on what that is? Well, <laughs> you, you know, it is it is like, who are you paired with? Yeah. Because some of that's out of your control. It's if not you like, hear a bad song, you're just like, I hate Dan and Shay. Yeah. It's not even us. They suggested this it's to like, me. <sighs> Dan and Shay suggested this to me. Yeah. I think they're bad guys. It's it's who people think you compare to, which is yeah. kind of funny that we like I, we have no control over that. Yeah. And it's just being like, you like this, you probably like this. Yeah. And then you figure out. And if you go listen to it, you might hear something that you're like, oh, I can't stand that guy. And you're like, well, <laughs> you are the same. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're the exact it's same. a real awakening. Yeah. That you they're going to start playing like, just bits of your comedy. 
after. I was like, well, we clearly this I should is, be mixed in. This music is clearly a joke. So yeah, yeah, we threw yeah, it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. What did you see his Netflix special? Oh no, I haven't. I haven't got to. I have. I have. Yeah. Did it recommend I'll, other comedians after that? No, they're like, this is probably enough. They go. <laughs> if you like this, I don't think you're like anything else on our, our platform. Yeah. If you Top, like this, it's not going to be. We good. went out on a limb with this guy, <laughs> and you're those other guys. They're not on here. They're not on this. You're platform. by yourself. Yeah, you can you can go to Houston and see him in a small comedy club. <laughs> yeah, they're out there. They don't have specials at a Houston's actually the restaurant. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's where he does most of his shows. <laughs> I almost spilled uh, this coffee on my shirt. That yeah. would have been a long day. It's, long he day says it's way. coffee. Uh, <laughs> there's, uh, you guys are shirt. like, ah, oh, man, they're drinking some coffee. What? You had to do an early one. Uh, it's 4 p.m. So <laughs> <laughs> this is just a continuing. Uh, it just yeah. keeps going. Yeah, this is not coffee. So uh, so as always, Shay, we read comments to open the yeah. the podcast. As we do uh, here. As we do here yeah. at Nate Land. Welcome. Yep. You're one of, yep. the, one of the Nate Landers. Yep. Uh, so, uh, first up, Torin Shanta. Torin Shanta. I, t- I, I teach love, you. I love her. You like, you like her? Yeah. It's a guy. Yeah. And, <laughs> no, I think it's a girl. I just wish Torin. There was Torin a Torin would be. Torin is a girl. A, yeah. Oh, Torin sounds male to me. Really? Mm-hmm. T-O-R-I-N? Yeah. If it was Torah. Let's see. I teach a high school level intro to intro to philosophy class. So I was burdened with the question, does knowing something about a topic make the episode more or less enjoyable? The answer is unequivocally more enjoyable. This is some big words I got yes, there. Yes. Watching Aaron flex his college minor in basket case, read more quotes from the office than the actual philosophers, all while Nate is abs- having absolutely none of it was unbelievable. One of my favorite episodes yet. Keep up the great work. We did. Uh, so, yeah, they call him all crazy names. That's, that's fantastic. So you know. Yeah. Do you know what my real name is? <sighs> not now. No, not now. <laughs> is it yeah. Torin? Is that you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is him. If you if we get a positive Brian comment, that's usually Brian. <laughs> <laughs> he pays me about 20 bucks yeah. to go on here sometimes. <laughs> David Hartley, the episode of Gary Vitor was hands down one of the most interesting podcasts I've ever heard by anyone. The episode on philosophy was downright painful. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost as if I was becoming dumber as the episode progressed. Yeah. At one point, I thought that's the opposite of learning. Luckily, when Nate mentioned Aristotle eating at Chili's, that kept me going till the end. <laughs> Even when your shows are horribly rambling. They're hilarious. I do think whenever you guys have a guest, the show tends to have some direction. Keep it up. So they this guy likes a guest. It does. Wow. Well, well, buckle most, up. Yeah, <laughs> most today's not going to probably well, be. I know. Well, most yeah. don't like a guest, Shay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so good to be here. There's <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is going to be fun. Michelle uh, Ramirez. Favorite podcast yet. Also, if everyone look, if everyone looked the same, I think the world would be pretty similar. Humans would just find another way to differentiate. <laughs> Boy, I think we should have a whole episode on how on this word different right here. differentiate yeah. D- differentiate. Gotcha. I yeah. needed that one. I got a way to. Di- I'm different, and then much it. <laughs> I'm different. And I fight one it. another. Different, like clothing or language. Uh, yeah, that's very true. So we're not going to do that. We were going to try to get everybody to look the same. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, it was a pretty big. Yeah, it was a pretty big. Uh, thing. Yeah, we had to raise some money up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to do a Patreon. It was a <laughs> philosophical was, question we threw yeah. out last week. I like it's kind of like the the theory. If behind, everybody looked the same, yeah, would the world be better? Well, or that's or what worse? private schools try to do with uniforms. Yes, that's the whole philosophy behind that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so is it better or worse? Shay, go ahead. Okay, uh, Shay? first of all, I'd just like to say, yeah. you know, I'm a pretty philo- philosophical guy. <laughs> yeah, everybody oh, knows. Man. Yeah. Everybody I almost knows. got philosophical in there. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't do differentiate very well, so I can say philosophical wrong. That's a hard one. There'll be some more of those. Shay, differentiate. Yeah, yeah. Differentiate. <laughs> differentiate. That's not even. That's not even close. It's a different it's, way of saying it. It, it uh, sure is. Yeah. Benjamin Merrill. I think the title philosophy set my standards too high. Ten minutes in, and Nate has already told Aaron to sit on someone's face. <laughs> That was he said that would be my wrestling move. His wrestling move would be oh sit on someone's face, like Rikishi. Yeah, yeah. I think, what was your what was your wrestling name? Didn't you have a oh some of the the gout foot or something? <laughs> oh, yeah. They called me. That's pretty good. And I, it was uh, Benjamin. Yeah, Merrill. his wrestling move is he has the other guy check his gout out, <laughs> and he asks him what he thinks about it, and, and he goes, "Do you think it's gout?" And they have a conversation yeah. on in, on the mat. <laughs> yeah. Did it's you ever the DV the doctor's visit? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's lengthy. Did you have a wrestling name? 
I was a pretty famous wrestler actually back in the day. Yeah. I didn't I didn't think it'd ever come back, but it's yeah, we don't need to talk about that. It's a I was a pretty famous wrestler. So you don't have one? No. And you're just rambling? Yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah. Amanda J B. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'd like to. Is this are these the people's last names? Because that can't be. A it's one either word. their full name or their They're, YouTube username. Okay. Or their, this yeah, one is a podcast reviewer. Okay, yeah. got it. I, I was going to say yeah. this doesn't. Uh, she's either a huge Justin Bieber fan, and Amanda that's like JB, thing, or that's could her be. name. Her name could be just Amanda Poland. Jib. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, Polish. Anyways. JB's Polish. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> 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 I teach medieval literature and was thrilled to see that you did an episode on the Middle Ages. We can it, stop right there. At, yeah. At, I teach medieval literature. It's an incredible insight. I know. That's that's a whole class. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, it can be hard to think of sub plans as a teacher, so it's great to have your <clears throat> Middle Ages episode in my back pocket in case I need it. I plan on sharing your philosophy episode with one of my coworkers so he can have a sub plan for his class too. So like if you have substitute teacher. They yeah. would just put on our put episode. On episode. <laughs> Dude, it's we're incredible. changing She's minds over here. We're changing lives. And yeah. you know a lot about middle age. So it's, that was, that was, a, that was a joke. That was a good one. I nailed that. I got yeah. it. Yeah. I got good. it. The other, that should be the name of your podcast. Yeah. It's called Middle Ages. Middle it's Ages. just you guys. I know. Well, <laughs> yeah. he, he's well. past it. So we, do it. Uh, we tried. Yeah. Middle age He's past it. He's too young. You know, we uh, there you go. Clayton Horton. I am currently a college student graduated with my bachelor's degree in two months. For my final assignment in one of my classes, I had to write a paper about apology by Plato, where I actually got to reference some of the things you talked about on the philosophy podcast. I took a picture of my sources so you could see that you have now made it as an official educational podcast. The quote I used from the podcast was from Aaron. So I sure hope his time at Notre Dame was legit. And I didn't just flunk this paper. So this dude, dude, we're a source. Look, we're a source on that's an actual incredible. college that, paper. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, that's a 10 Poor out of 10. Guy. Were you right, Aaron? I don't I don't know what he quoted me on. I don't know. Let's but I Clayton, probably was. Let us know. <laughs> He's graduating. It's a big grade, he, he right? He was going <laughs> to. Can you imagine if you were the reason? Like, look, guys, so I just, I'd like to point out I this mean, reference. this guy this says a lot about you. under a bridge in two years, <laughs> and he goes, I should never listen to that Nate Lamb podcast. <laughs> we listen to that podcast. Let us know uh, what your grade was, Clayton. I want to know how, how, how did it go. That's pretty fun. That's awesome. Cat uh, Rockwell. I feel like there wasn't enough acknowledgement of Aaron's in 1900, God says, Nietzsche's dead. Yeah, that's a good joke. I missed it at the time. Oh, thanks. So I feel like there wasn't enough acknowledgement of Aaron's in 1900. God said Nietzsche's dead. So no, I quoted yeah. Nietzsche saying God is dead. Mm-hmm. That's his famous quote. And then Aaron looked him up and Nietzsche died in 1900, I guess, right? Yeah. So he's basically oh. saying God told you you're dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. That is a good that's joke. That's very funny. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Sorry, I'm not used thanks, to everybody. jokes being brought to the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I'll keep a lookout from here on out. Uh, Robert Hart or Harty. I love how Nate keeps referring to the standard 12 ounce can of pop as the little ones. So Laura told me I keep saying they're 12 ounces, but they're seven and a half ounces. So yeah. it is a little, but one. you get the 12 ounce of the bottles. No, but we, I do sometimes get the 12 ounce of the bottles, but then she lately I've been drinking the seven and a half of the can. Yeah. Did you think that those, the bottle and the can were the same size? I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We can move on. I just yeah. wanted to clarify. Yeah. But what's standard size for can, like a can of Coke? 20 ounce would be right. 12 ounce is the standard. Tw- oh, yeah. 12 ounce. Should yeah. Be, that's yeah. like, that's like a can of beer. Okay. A can of Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Kirby Morrison. Maybe this is why Aaron hasn't been able to get to Planet Fitness. He's too busy thinking about how it's logically impossible to get there. I mean, it is. I like that, Kirby. It is. It is. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's right. what you should tell them. That's what I put in the letter. Yeah. I'd love to come in there, <laughs> but, but it's logically impossible for me to get there. How can I get there? <laughs> have you mailed that Shay, To get there, I would have to first get halfway there, yeah. right? Yeah. And to get yeah. halfway there, I'd have to get a quarter of the way there first. Yeah. And you can keep doing that an infinite amount of time. It's impossible to go anywhere. It's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That's Which the message is, I'm trying to get but across. I think, that must be I think why I don't get things done. What becomes <laughs> more impossible is... If after you do a quarter, how many more words do you have to describe? <laughs> Eighth, sixteenth, thirty second, sixty fourth, hundred twenty eight, two hundred fifty six, five hundred twelve, thousand twenty four. I can multiply by and two. Then there's, and right after a thousand twenty four, it's a bunch. That's yeah. where a bunch. <laughs> just, oh, et cetera, so et cetera. Et cetera. How much do we have left? A bunch. 
<laughs> yeah. But I would just make you keep going until you're like. I was about done. Yeah. Just now I can't. Yeah. I was impressed with that. Yeah. yeah. And then you're done. And then. You et cetera, et cetera. And then I still have to pay Jack him $10. Weeb. Uh, I Jack know. Weeb. That's, I don't know if that's. Maybe it's Jackie even. Oh, it could, it could be, be Jackie. Jackie BB. Jackie BB. It's Jackie BB. It's French. probably what she meant. It. In this last episode, <laughs> Nate mentioned a time when he forgot what a chair was. There's a name for that according to Wikipedia. Semantic satia- uh, satiation is a psych- psychological ph- phenomenon. <laughs> Whoa. Much like this sentence. <laughs> Let's take the long way around, don't we? Uh, in which repeti- uh, God. <laughs> repetition. repetition causes a word or phrase to temporarily lose meaning for the listener, who then perceives the speech as repeated meaningless sounds. So, that is, so I was something. Wow. Yeah. So I, I looked for an Easter. Yeah. I looked for a chair. I was supposed to, the Easter basket was under near a chair. My parents told me when I was a kid. And I kept thinking about the word chair so much that I forgot what a chair actually was. That's wild. I feel like this is probably the same because this has honestly happened to me before. Have you ever written out a word yeah. and looked at it and been like, I don't think that's it? Yeah. Like a simple word, like right. exit. Yes. Would yeah. Would be and a word that I think it. that I looked at it and yeah. I was like, Mm-hmm. Why is that spelled that way? Yeah, yeah. That make semantic satiation. Yeah. Semantic I'm always satiation. Dude, that, one that right. sentence was crazy. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that, crazy. That, that, was, was, I mean, that was she trapped you there. She was like, he's gonna have yeah. a pretty tough time with this one. Yeah, she got there's it was almost perfect. The two words semantic satiation was like enough to be like, oh, I got through it. And then it was like <laughs> it's like when you're riding a ride, you're like, was that the hill? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not that bad of a hill. And then you're just down. Yeah, as, yeah you hit the curve. Yeah. That was like it's something you would say to warm up for this podcast, like semantic, About, you know, satiation. semantic satiation, repetition. Um, <laughs> Greg Rogers, chest of drawers, not Chester. Chester drawers. <laughs> it's a chest of drawers. Yeah. Did I say Chester drawers? Yeah, you made a whole joke about it. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just um, Chester, Chester. Yeah, yeah. Well, but do you actually good. call it a Chester drawers? Of you? I don't think I ever say that. I don't think I, don't, I, I think I just said uh, do you say the worse? drawers. Chester. I probably we say did. Chester, chest of drawers. I probably do say Chester drawers. Yeah, I always yeah. say Chester drawers. Yeah. Up. A Chester drawers? It's a chest of drawers. What? Yeah. You say I'm Chester? Just, maybe. I just found yeah. out I did. It's a chest of drawers. What Chester do you call drawers. the house that's on your neighborhood on the other the other corner? You say that house is what to you? A, a chest of drawers. <laughs> I always call it the it's semantic ge- station. Uh, it's where Chester lives. Cat a corner. Cat- you say cat- catty a- corner. You say catty, catty, catty corner. Catty corner. I heard your kitty corner too. No, I haven't heard that. People one. say that. Yeah. I don't, do people say that? I think people we say. Don't it. Know. No one knows. <laughs> Find me one person who says kitty corner. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could. I could see that. I, maybe I have heard that before. Scott Amanda. Is that? Huh. Is that two? I wonder if it's him and his wife. That's if it is. <laughs> They're, they're, uh, one, they're one of those couples. Yeah, they got to yeah. combine oh, Facebook. Poor Scott yeah. is like, I know, but can I have my own? <laughs> and she goes, no, we're doing it together. And they wrote this <laughs> comment. <laughs> Nate's philosophy should be words are hard instead of all words matter. Matter. <laughs> I messed up the hands. <laughs> they should be. Words are hard. Yeah, you did that how they would That's what I live you. by. <laughs> they words hoped you would read it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like I nailed it. That's what I, I get for making fun of them. Yeah. Feast for thought. Finally, I found a podcast talking about the three great philosophers, Frank Bargetsy, Ted Lasso, and Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's what it's about. Yeah. That's why we do the podcast. Cowabunga. Uh, this year, Mac Weldon, spring is going to hit a little different because we are all finally starting to get back outside and see friends again. No matter where your plans take you, bring the comfort and style of Mac Weldon along for the ride. Macwell's wonderful. Brian Bates yeah. has Mac Weldon on right now. We will. I'm going to get some too to wear. He wore it on stage, which is yep. pretty good. This weekend is very comfortable. Nice fit. I don't know why you're laughing, Aaron. It's it's nice. <laughs> sure. It's our sponsor. It does look great. I mean, it looks good. T-shirt. Really this is the intrepid long sleeve polo. I got the yeah. T-shirt underneath there. Look at that. Yeah, it looks very good. Nice. Looking sharp. It fits Thank good. You. They Where, have so many different colors of blue too. Yeah. he's got on them. He's got them all. Got them all. On. Yeah, there's a couple uh, more under there. Look you can good. get. Uh, you can get all this stuff uh, for twenty percent off your first order. Visit macweldoncom slash Nate and enter promo code Nate. Mac Weldon wants you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep them, and there's they will still refund you. No questions asked. They have a wide range of customized fabrics that can keep up with you, no matter what your day looks like. 
That's MacWeldon.com slash Nate, promo code Nate for 20% off. Mac Weldon, reinventing men's basic. Also, we're going to be brought to you, we're brought to you by Solo Stove. Mm. We actually uh, put one of these out. We do, me and my neighbors, uh, we, they, we have, they have a little fire pit. Or like this kind of like, they move it around. Uh, and we always sit out in our driveway. Uh, night, you know, those nights when it's like 50 yeah. degrees, it feels wonderful. You want a little fire going. Yeah. You're wearing uh, your Mac Weldon. Mary, we're wearing your Mac Weldon. And then, the, but the hard problem that we have, I always am annoyed with that kind of thing is like the smoke. You always smell like smoke. I don't mind smell like smoke if I'm out in the wood, if I'm like doing something, but it's like you go sit out there in a driveway and then you're like, I can go take a shower now. Yeah. Like yeah. you smell like smoke. <laughs> and the point of this solo stove is it's smokeless. How great is that? The fire, we saw it. The fire is unbelievable. It makes a be- beautiful uh, fire. It's 304 stainless steel, durable construction, portable design, uh, 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 low maintenance, virtually smokeless. Solo stove inspires you to get outside. There's no setup. It comes all ready to use. It's very easy. I mean, we unwrapped it and uh, built a fire very quickly. Laura did it uh, super fast. The stands are great because they let cool air pass under the pit. That way you can use it on wood or uh Composite uh, yeah. decking is that it? The word? What's the word? Close. Composite, composite, composite yeah. decking. Make the spring one to remember with a smokeless fire pit from Solo Stove, and get a free stand with any purchase of a fire pit. Just use our promo code Nate at checkout. Go to solostove.com promo promo code Nate for your free stand with your purchase. That's solostove.com promo code Nate. All right, everybody. We uh, so uh, with our guest as as, as usual, as the, the am I the usual, usual guest go. with our guest <laughs> as usual? It's Very uh, average guest today, and <laughs> but, uh, no, but we like to talk about that where everybody's from, the states, and uh, so a lot of people don't know if if people. I think you're everybody's kind of knowing who you are now. I think Dan and Shay, don't well, you think? Did you see Chris Pratt? Posted uh, about ten thousand hours. I didn't. I'm yeah. a huge Chris Pratt fan. He this po- is the first said, I'm hearing of it. I need to leave here immediately. I know. <laughs> so Chris Pratt posted. Uh, it was him and his wife uh, Catherine, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter, uh, is who he's married to. And then uh, I believe her name's Catherine. And they, she, uh, they was their favorite song. But they said ten thousand hours, and they tagged Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea we're on that song. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, was there somebody? Else? But y'all, you're singing the. It's y'all. Whose song is it? Yeah, was I it mean, your song? It was our. It was. I mean, ours. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah, got I had you know, a real Bieber. problem with this, Chris. Yeah, unbelievable, dude. Yeah, huge fan. Been supporting you for years, and this is how you treat me. Is he behind there? Is he in there? <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm not uh, really sure. Chris Pratt. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe. You have Look a camera? That. Oh, you're looking at the camera. Still a Shay yeah. Land I'm starting, dude. <laughs> yeah, you starting a new podcast. <laughs> I'm, I am, I'm is doing Aaron during this podcast. It is. Yeah, we already have. What's a simulcast? Yeah, Aaron's got his own podcast. Is Aaron Land. Okay. It airs during this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you were going to do well, one. Well, because they sometimes they land here. Shay-town. Sometimes they want to land over in yeah. Shayland. You know? Shay-town. Get them out. Shay Town. Uh, <laughs> Shay Town, USA. But that is Shay- awesome, though. That I really did USA. not know that. I did not hear that. It's the first I'm hearing of it. It's their song. And uh, that's incredible. That's where you can tell. So when you do something, when you do a song like that, uh, that was y'all's probably, that was like the, you're definitely our farthest reaching. Yes. So, yeah. And so when you uh, when you do do a song like that and you get like Bieber to do it is that that's what is that what musicians are trying to do like especially y'all are coming along y'all are doing great you're doing huge huge places it's not like necessarily you need Justin Bieber yeah but obviously Justin Bieber is huge and so if you get him then you get all those fans and then they get to hear you. so many more people are going to hear that song because it's Bieber a hundred percent I mean we got to places that we would never would have yeah like that song had like a I mean, hundreds of millions of plays in like China and, you know, all over Asia, places that we'd never probably wouldn't go with, you know, with straight up, you know, they're not listening to the country radio yeah. over there. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's doing that great. <laughs> it is uh, like, yeah. it is expanding, which is really cool. Like country music is, is really expanding. But yeah, having someone like Justin Bieber, which it's a whole different thing of like, of a worldwide hit. Yeah. It's just something so different. Did you just like, ask him or did he? Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, just a. Yeah, an email. Email. Like, hey, listen, hey. my name's Shay. No, we we we've known him for a second. I think we met him probably back in 2014 or 15 yeah. or something. And it was uh it kind of just made sense at this time. Like we've gotten to the point where at the beginning of our career, like we have a, you know, Scooter is, is also one of our managers. So we it wasn't you know, we met him through him, but it, we didn't want to just be like, Can you get Justin on a random yeah, yeah. on a song? Like it doesn't it has yeah, to make yeah. sense for both, 
You don't just like get somebody. So you're like, yeah. yeah. So Scooter, uh, what's it? Scooter Braun. Yeah. Uh, who does everybody? Yeah. And then so the, yeah, that's you're with him under his umbrella. So it's but he knows it's good to Beaver to do one of your songs. Sure. So, but it does have to fit, and he says yeah. to be like yeah. It just made sense. It was like good timing. Yeah. So it was like we're at the point where it also benefits him. So he got his first you know country hit and got his first uh, yeah got his first hit on country radio, which is yeah. a cool thing. He's done everything. Every and he won a Grammy. Anyone a Grammy? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, yeah, what do you got? Four Grammys? So that was our third. Third. Yeah, thanks for now. I feel <laughs> third stupid. Grammys. Wow. Oh, I thought it was four. Yeah, I thought like, uh, that's why I had you. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, your tw- oh. Dan and Shay Twitter page, the picture is just a phone number. It's 615, yeah. old school. Yeah. 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 So do, do you or Dan answer that? Yeah, it's just my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we just call, you call it? Call it right now. It just starts it. ringing. Well, that's the thing yeah. where you can, uh, people can text you. It is. It's yeah. called community. Is yeah. the is the app, and it's really cool. We actually go on there and and actually text people and make videos, and it's a whole thing. It's yeah. it's the only thing we do. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a good way to be uh, in contact like that. Yeah. yeah, like it's very personal. Yeah, yeah. Being able yeah, to cool. keep up with people. Uh, so uh, you've been so we're like you you were from Arkansas. Yep. Where at in Arkansas? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it's just in the left side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, down there. That's how much <laughs> we y'all didn't don't do, know. Yeah, we didn't do. We didn't do We didn't, it, we didn't of, do school. That's how small it was. We didn't have a name for the town. Like, where are you from? Like, yeah. I, I'm just up the road. It was just how, up the road. How are you? Uh, comp- comp- you like your town was so it was a very small town. Yeah. Right? It's called it Natural was, Dam, and there's there's 511 people. Like is the population. Yeah. So very, and how many of them made in country music? Um, <laughs> a good bit. Yeah, was yeah it 110. More actually, than you think? More than you yeah. think, yeah. Was Alan it, Jackson, yeah. Tim McGraw. Yeah, we were all from the same yeah. family. Yeah. Are, they're not from there. They're right? not from there. God, but that'd be unbelievable. There is, there's, if I had to, as far as Arkansas, my area, I was definitely the only, yeah. like, yeah. I, think, I think I might have been one of the only people to leave. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, even yeah. like, did he make it? Like, we don't know. Yeah. But he left. He so left. So that's a, that's a pretty good start. But no, it's uh, it's close to Fort Smith. It's probably like forty five minutes away from Fort Smith, which is a bigger town. They're probably at that time. I think there were seventy five thousand, but it's probably much bigger now. It's grown, but uh, it's kind of in between Fort Smith and Fayetteville, which is a big Fayetteville yeah, Rogers Fayetteville. Walmart yeah. land. It's uh, yeah, that's exploded up there. So yeah, but it's I mean it's literally the middle of nowhere, just like out in Arkansas. So yeah, my parents are out there, and it's pretty. pretty you simple. were raised too. Uh, I was. Yeah, you were raised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You might not know this, but sure, he might. was actually raised. Tell me if I'm mis- speaking <laughs> right here. You were raised. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, you're fully grown. Yeah. Well, what do you think? We, think? Hope. we still We're got hope. We still yeah. got hope yeah. a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My uncle told me a story yeah. one time that he he was like 5'9 until – and this is a true story. He was actually like, – he was 5'9 until when he graduated high school, and now he's 6'2". He grew from high school to college. So yeah. imagine my – Anticipation that you thought that I, thought, I was like I was like I was like looking at like telling people like this isn't it dude. yeah yeah hey, so you on. talk you talk down to me now yeah just wait wait I'm about to be six I think I'm moving right yeah. now I feel yeah. like I'm moving <laughs> yeah I'm like, oh every hold once in a while like hold on a second hold you on. feel me yeah yeah it Scotty goes, Pippen oh. you just go oh there's a pencil up there <laughs> I didn't even know that. I was I was yeah. measuring myself at all times Scotty Pippen grew in college Arkansas guy yeah six yeah. one out of high school goes to what Central Arkansas he went to yeah UCA and ended up six eight. That's insane. Wow. I mean, has That's there my... been a better player ever that went to such a small school? No. That's uh, NAI. Well, uh, Jerry Rice. I mean, Yeah, but that's bigger than... Where did he go? He went to Mississippi Valley, I think. Do you consider Indiana yeah. State a small school? Yeah. And Larry Bird? Yeah, Mississippi Valley. That's, yeah, like that's, a, that's a tiny school. It is. I no guess I just... heard of that. that. I mean, that's a, but, that's up there for sure. I mean, I think they're like, they were 1AA, I think. I Central mean, Arkansas was? Central Arkansas well, was NAI. Uh, that's like Cumberland. Yeah. And, oh, wow. It's about as small oh. as you get. Yeah, Central Arkansas yeah. is very small. That's where my wife went to to college. Oh yeah, not at the same time as, as no. Scotty Pippen. But <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, uh, a little bit. A little bit before. after. Yeah, a little bit before him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, slightly before him. Yeah. She's she's sixty five. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's, obviously not the same <laughs> I mean, time. No, a little, little bit before. before. Yeah, yeah, but there's <laughs> like obviously not the same time. Yeah, a little bit. There's a, uh, uh, yeah. I was going to say Scotty Pippen grew. You, you, I guess you want to hope that you can grow. You can grow. But yeah, I've met your family y'all are all about the same yeah. size yeah but you, <laughs> you, you, you kind of yeah. see what you get yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. my wife like i you're not shocked when someone <laughs> walks in the, you know you're not like whoa yeah, you don't walk like whoa whoa, yeah. whoa we, why? you know what happened <laughs> like yeah, all my family is tiny yeah. but my my wife her dad and her aunt are like very tall 
like yeah. giants. Like her, I don't want to say it like that. Like they're giants. <laughs> but her aunt is like six eight. Wow. Like wow. very, very tall. Yeah. And her son is like seven foot. Man. And so like there's a lot of height. Her dad's like six something. Wow. Uh, yeah. She did it. Yeah. And, uh, and she, yeah, and, she's and yeah. her mom is very small. And the whole her whole side of her family, which is the Loves, which is like their last name was Love. Very good last name. Yeah, it's a great. So name. yeah, they're all tiny. So we'll see which way Asher names go. Yeah. Which I'm kind of like, I want them somewhere in the middle. When they mm. start to pass you, you're like, look, do you think you're just better than, than me? <laughs> He's going to just shove your face away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes, I don't want to give him a hey, hug. Hey, could you clean like your this. room? And he goes, beat it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want my son to be able to beat me up. And then your wife goes, what are you doing? You're like, I'm cleaning his room. <laughs> he made me clean his I'm room. Picking, I'm picking yeah. up his toys. Yeah. He's, he's so big. He's so, so much bigger than me. <laughs> he's he's he like goes, 14 yeah. years old. 14. He's not even fully developed just yet. Just take you. Yeah. He's, like, like, he's like, I'll get bigger too. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. like, I'll come back okay. here. So don't and you come back here I'm after 6 p.m. Yeah. Wait till I get. <laughs> he tells the story. He's like, like no, oh, you know, yeah. Uncle Terry grew yeah. after high school. <laughs> he's like, I have a lot of potential here. It's going to be good. I wonder what the latest someone's ever grown was. Like when mm. is it? You know, why you shrink? Bin Laden. Oh yeah, I always think Scotty Pippen looks exactly like Bin Laden. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm sure. And I've I'm never sure seen. I've never that. seen yeah. him in the same room twice. Yeah, I hope Scotty Pippen's a huge fan of this podcast and just unsuspecting. <laughs> uh, like, what the? Yeah, that's yeah, not so the first time he's heard it. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you guess, don't see any similarities? Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't know if they're enough that I would have yeah. uh, ruined someone's life about it. <laughs> but, <laughs> They're, yeah, I guess in the grand scheme yeah. of things. Uh, oh, boy, uh, this is a fun game we like to play. We like to I bring mean, up some other uh, complete, just, just horrible human beings and compare them next to Next up, we're going to go through compare Hitler's the, uh, like, comparisons. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, he's already got them drawn up. <laughs> bring uh, up that picture of Nate. It's uh, all right. uh, uh, latest growth spurt. And, hmm. Yeah, what is This will take a minute. Yeah, five. Someone so, compared you Hitler last week uh, as far as playing golf. They said, who's more fun to play with, Hitler or Nate? Oh, who said that? <laughs> a person that commented on that. After you talked about yeah. the people who, if you dr- oh, drop a ball funny. and stuff. Yeah, that's funny. Did you say what you were? What you funny. responded? Yeah, I said, I played with both. <laughs> yeah. You are correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you th- did Hitler play golf? Huh? Was golf a thing when he was? Uh, no, with- he was middle ages. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, Kim, Jong-il was, was Kim Jong-il was the best golfer shot ever. Shot 18. He shot an 18. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Yeah. 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 These guys are just like, yeah. (laughs) Some people don't believe it, but uh, it seems crazy seeing as he hit it in the woods a couple times. But there's a country that does. And (laughs) so I believe it. Uh, Mm. They, uh, so you grew up, what I I always think that's funny is I don't know, I don't know how many people always know this, uh, but it's like, I mean, you grew up on a farm. Yeah. Like, I mean, real, you're real Arkansas. Very Arkansas. You're not, you know, you know, I don't know from the big city of from Arkansas. The big city, yeah. You know. Which I don't know if there's like, like did a lot Bill of Clinton those. grow up. I think he's like, is he from Hope, Arkansas? I think. Yeah, I think possibly. Yeah. Is that right? The only reason I know that is because there was yes. I used to do this choir thing for a couple of years. It was like a church choir. We'd go around, and there was uh, we played in Hope, Arkansas, and there was a girl on our choir tour named Hope, and she was from oh, Hope, yeah. Arkansas. Wow. And so I knew that. That old Billy was yeah. from there. We call him Billy. He's, Billy, yeah, he's yeah. a good guy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. But I, you grew up, I mean, y'all had... Full on, like my... I feel, yeah, I feel like I don't... People probably don't know that. They're probably like, he's probably from Seattle or something, you know? Yeah. You don't have that much of a southern accent. Yeah, I know, and I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's great to be here with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go home, I do kind of well, pick up fail. on some things. You do. Well, well, it's good to see you guys now. Yeah. Thanks for coming out here. Yeah. But I, it is it is funny because I grew up, you know, on a farm, and that was like our thing. Like, I'd wake up at like you know, five thirty and milk cows was like my that was my main job. Like before school. Before school. Yeah. And so I would go and we had to drive an hour to school because it was like because the school I don't want to like people people from Cedar Hill probably listen to this. It's way a better school now. But at the time it wasn't it wasn't great. Yeah. It wasn't a great school to go to. And you were an I don't hour know if they were away? like accredited as a school. <laughs> like yeah. was it a school like kind of people go there. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. kids that go there. It's like yeah. a daycare. You were getting more schooling probably on the farm. A hundred percent. My, but, my, I actually homeschooled for like the first five years. Yeah. Like halfway through fifth grade. And then just day your parents didn't want to drive you to school. I be, I begged my sisters went to school. Like they started going to this other school in, in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And I was just like I was home alone by myself. I was like, as it wasn't as if it wasn't isolating enough that I was on a farm of you know, in a town of five hundred people. But we had like all of our cousins and everyone lived there. Like we had 
you know, our cousins and friends that lived, like we would walk to each other's houses, even though they were like a mile away. I was <laughs> yeah. in much better shape then. But did you, yeah. did you ever take a horse to their house? <laughs> yeah, and you know, I yeah. did. Did you? 100%. Yeah. 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 I, I rode horses growing up, but I, I had a pretty bad horse experience. Like there was this huge hill by our house. And I was uh, I was just getting into like riding horses, like I had gotten a horse, yeah. And I think his name was I can't remember what it was, and it was uh, we had Bolt, which is just a sign right there. It's like he was so fast and angry that they they're like I think they even told yeah. us whenever they sold it to us they're like he's pretty quick, yeah. And like in a way where it's just like he's got <laughs> he's got issues, like yeah. he likes to run real fast. And I think he was like a racing horse for a while, and then he retired. You know, he was doing super well. To the well. Mooney was, Farm. To the Mooney Farm. And so I was going down a hill one time, and I like let him <laughs> – I think his – one of his shoes was, like, messed up. Yeah. And it was uh, it was slipping. And so, like, we go down this hill, and I was, like, sprinting, and he's sliding. And so, like, he's running down this, like – it's a, you know, paved road. And so he's slipping, and I'm going what feels like 180 miles an hour, yeah. just ter- terrified out of my mind. And then, yeah, after that, I didn't ride you? horses for a while. This was a couple of years ago. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is last week. Yeah, I think I was probably eight or nine. Yeah, I was pretty young. Yeah, so that kind of traumatized me. And then I got kicked off of a horse one time. Yeah, like we tried to me and my friend like put a bucket like this. Talk, the horse was the same horse. Yeah, this was like right before this, and I, got, I was trying to get on the horse, and we were trying to do bareback because <laughs> we thought yeah. that was a good idea. Like, hey, let's let's get on this horse that's barely trained and try to get yeah. on his bareback. <laughs> So I got on there, and, and uh, yeah, he kicked us off, and and then kicked us onto the bucket. Uh, <laughs> could have died. So yeah, near death, near death experience. Yeah, but yeah. Well, that you, but that you grew up in like a time where it was like, yeah, you're just going to learn all that. Like you're you're just a lot. Your parents are not even watching. Yeah, like you're just that was that was the best time probably. Of, yeah. not the best time of my life, but one of the things that I cherish being able to like walk outside. Like I feel like that's a generational thing too, though. I've just we're in a different world now where you can't do like I would never send my kids out like be back by dark yeah like you would never see them again like all right go wherever you want to yeah. go like there's no way I'd do that now but then it was just like we would come back at nine p.m. and we would be fine like yeah. we'd go camping we would be out all night in the woods and my mom was like they're probably camping <laughs> and wouldn't wouldn't go look for us yeah, like yeah. like he's fine with a horse you just yeah, take they, the horse she off? comes out she come out there with a lantern she's yeah like, yeah Shay. Yeah. so yeah she, my mom always knew though she was yeah. she was close to jesus she uh she always knew yeah we're fine she yeah. would know and then you yeah, well, that's what i mean you can't do it now but they still live if you live out there though you can probably still stay out we, yeah we do it there like my sister yeah. they still live out in the middle of nowhere and it's it's nice like when we go visit well, we're able to just be like yeah you guys go play you're just in your own world have you but ever played a that. show at heroes arena in natural dam <laughs> no but i do know that's a that's, that's ricky's spot my dad's name is ricky yeah. rick do you know that that's other rick i do know it. it's right oh. across the street from so yeah i clicked on it so just grandview like assembly of god church was where i my dad built that church and the gym there and there's actually the original grandview assembly where i grew up going is right across from heroes arena um and it was uh you can see it there's my friend logan's house right there off of peaceful home road yeah. you guys go check him out he's got a great spot so yeah our, our friends built heroes arena it's a rodeo arena oh, they that's do. Awesome. Oh, wow. yeah. oh why is the picture a waterfall it's a, so yeah if you go down natural dam road right here you see yeah. natural dam kind of go to the left yeah there. if you go left that's natural dam oh right that's around that's where i grew up swimming and yeah, yeah. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in there, bodies and Where really it, fun stuff. I see there's a uh, – <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can a, find just about anything in there. Cars, there's a horses. postal service. Is it hard to get the horse to grab the bag to deliver the mail? It is. <laughs> a lot of training. Harder than you think. Harder than you'd think. Yeah. But also maybe not as hard as you would think. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And if it's a mail horse. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and when a train comes, they just pick up the letters? Well, like no, they get on the train. They have to ride oh, the train. Oh, they get on the train. Yeah, because it's a whole insurance thing. They have a ramp. They yeah. go there. They have to ride the train. Wow. Yeah, seven hour trip. Is it? Yep. Yeah. To the next town. Yeah. Cause not not because it's that far. The train's real slow. They haven't got to change <laughs> yeah, out the. Like, yeah, it's a whole. Isn't thing. that what they used to do? They have a hook on a train, <laughs> and you pick up man. Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the old days. Definitely. Yeah. It sounds like it's something they do. I'm yeah. just picturing a mailman going mailbox to mailbox with a horse, and the horse. Reaches yeah. in and grabs the mail <laughs> yeah. with its mail. Yeah, he throws it up. And he gets it back. <laughs> yeah, he throws it up. <laughs> and the mailman looks through it and then just leaves some out. He decides. He, it. he yeah. feeds it to the horse. No. And they get a call from the electrical company. You haven't paid your bill. I, we're not getting it. <laughs> we're not getting it. I don't it. know I'm what like, to tell yeah. you. You guys got to stop using that cardstock. That yeah. horse likes it a lot. He likes <laughs> He's it. been eating it. 
Yeah. Uh, so what's a, what's a fun uh, Arkansas? Oh, I got a bunch fact. of fun here. Arkansas. If you saw the word Arkansas, how would you think it's pronounced? Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. Arkansas. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The word comes. Kansas and Arkansas come from the same Native American word. Yeah. Yeah, because they were like, no, that's their Kansas. This one's ours. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is our Kansas. <laughs> our Kansas. Yeah. Be. That's could where. Be. Yeah, and they didn't know how to spell R yeah. or Kansas. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. It comes from Akazi, which means "land of the down river people." I was gonna say that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I get that vibe from you. Yeah, I would say that. <clears throat> Somebody goes, "What's Shay like?" I'm like, "What do you think down river people are like?" <laughs> it's, it's and that's like, a specific. Yeah. Like um, it sounds like a derogatory term. You definitely like, don't want to be down, down river <laughs> people. I don't think. Like, no. Yeah. Well, but, think about all the things that go down the river. Yeah. Like those people are drinking out of that water. The people that are upstream. Yeah. What do you think they're doing in that river? Probably, you know, not. They're probably putting some things. Not in putting that. better water in it. They're not putting uh, any better yeah. water in it. You're gonna is get down river <laughs> people. Is that a? That's probably a very bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think when, is that a term that we don't know that's yeah. wrong? I think and, when French settlers came, the Native Americans. Called, they live down river, so they just called them the down river people. Oh. Well, oh. A little more simple than we thought, huh? No, but I think they, yeah, they had like, to think they're better than them. They, well, they know to go to the top. Yeah. They probably didn't say it with a smile yeah, on If you start at the top, then they're just drinking whatever yeah. you yeah. leave them. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. DRP. The so DRP. Yeah. So it was <laughs> half the state called it Arkansas and half called it Arkansas. And finally, the state legislature had to define the pronunciation and they decided to call it Arkansas. It's against the law now to call it Arkansas. It's against the law? They passed a law, yeah. There's a lot of – that's a crazy – I'm pretty sure that for a while it was like illegal to spit on the sidewalk in Little Rock. Like you yeah. get jailed for it. Yeah. It I remember those. looking that up one time. I, th- I can't remember if it was Little Rock, but it was – there was some pretty yeah, – there's always weird things. laws. Yeah. I used to have a joke about it. Uh, something about drinking out of a bucket. You can't drink out of a bucket in Georgia. <laughs> like, yeah, ser- was it? No, you can't drink out of a bucket on a corner in Georgia or something like that. It was like a, a real. That's your first thing. Do you thing think that like, those things came from like <clears throat> small quarrels of like there was just like a guy, like a lawmaker, and then there was just yeah. this guy named Jim. He kept doing well. Spinning on the sidewalk, I'd imagine is there people were dipping and just spitting. Yeah, you know, like yeah. old dip where it's yeah. just it's everywhere. Yeah, it's not like new dip. Yeah, <laughs> where you're spitting into a small space. <laughs> it's just like you yeah. kind of just like threw up. It was like, yeah, <sighs> oil. Yeah. It yeah. looks like motor. Yeah, yeah it did look like motor oil is a good way to describe yeah. it. it. Little was, Rock, yeah. it is illegal to walk your cow down Main Street after 1 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah, that was always so. a hassle uh, <laughs> because it was like, how am I going to walk my cow? <clears throat> and she goes, Fred, it's 1245. You better get to it. Yeah. <laughs> and he like, goes, oh. we're going, we're going. <laughs> like he's, it's because he got to one. That's the, well, that's why they had the, uh, they had bells on cows. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty yeah. good. I would have believed well, that. Because the cow, they were, they, you know, they trained the cattle. Where it was like, oh, it's just about one. He was just like, and they'd wiggle it. And it was like, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. so that's why they do it. That's why they, they actually, bells the on... reason they had, you know why they have bells on cows? <laughs> yeah. So you're... This is a true story. So we had milk cows. Obviously, I said, it wasn't, we didn't have like a dairy farm where we had like machines. It was like you had kids. The machines are the shit. It was our children. It was yeah, me. And sister. so I went down there and I, I could literally, I could do a gallon. I don't know if I could do it now. At that time, I played drums. It was like my first instrument. No joke. I had my wrists were like freaking unbelievably strong. Yeah. I mean, it was incredible. I could milk a gallon in probably in less than a minute, in like 45 to 50 seconds. A gallon? A gallon. And these these cattle were like, I mean, this we had this one, you know, dairy cow that was just an absolute just milk bait. I don't know how to describe yeah. it. It's yeah, no milk in her, in her yeah. Yeah. You know, there's no better way to say it. But it was You were happy to get to her. Yes, yes. I mean it was literally she would produce milk so intensely yeah. that you would just you'd barely have to have to milk her. And I feel like we should move on because it's getting weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, but we did have I will tell you this story about to to keep her from because you basically you can get diseases if you if you if it's not if the if the cows aren't milked, they get like diseases. So we mm. had like we had lost a cow. She had had a baby, and like they lost the baby, and so she had produced all this milk and couldn't like, you know, you have to get it out there. I can't remember what it's called. This mastitis, I think, is what it's called. Is you get filled with you know it's too much milk and your the bag gets like disease and all Careful the crazy stuff. That. It can yeah, kill. Yeah. It can it can kill the cow. So we had to have it milked like every once in a while. And but we had this goat that was uh, that was given to us. Like someone was like, "I got this goat," and we had and it. almost like and they knew you. Y'all they're would like, take "Like it. you're gonna take it." We yeah. were we were that too. Like we had stray dogs. We were all yeah. they would people would dump their animals, and we were like, we were hoping that this would happen. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, like, so we would we had all these animals, and we had this goat named Lucky, 
and he thought he was a cow because he would he would actually nurse the cow. Yeah. And that was how we he, we kept her healthy yeah. and safe. Is that and he needed milk yeah. and to be fed. So we had a, a goat named Lucky and he had a big horseshoe. He was black and white, had a white horseshoe on his side. And you could yell at him and you'd say, Hey Lucky and he would scream back at you from the house. <laughs> yeah. And it was really great. Yeah. We had sixty goats. Why did he have a horseshoe on him? Oh, I think he was just super lucky. Oh. Oh, look, he had a, <laughs> I, don't yeah. know, I don't know. How so to, he had a horseshoe he had shape. Actual, it was a horseshoe shape. It wasn't. Yeah. It, it was. He wasn't branded. Really. Yeah, that's why. Like <laughs> Lucky Farms doesn't yeah. sound so lucky. Some lucky, yeah. yeah, lucky you. We're so what did Lucky do? We you. burned him. Yeah, <laughs> this is horrible. But so he, yeah, we that's had sixty crazy that time. you would. Uh, so y'all would milk. Yeah, growing up, y'all never went and bought milk at the store. No, well, we did. We went to Brahms. I don't know if you guys had Brahms right now. Brahms was like the. That was kind of a. It was Kroger. a chain, but it was like a local ish. Piggly like, Wiggly. It was a bigger, it, Piggly Wiggly esque. Yeah, yeah. But they had like ice creams, great spot, still there, I think. And but my mom would always sneak it, like because she wanted us to drink like unpasteurized milk because it was like it's healthier for you for yeah. sure without all the stuff in it. So like she would sneak it into the Brahms, like she would get empty, she would pour out the Brahms milk and sneak it. Oh. Like I couldn't tell the difference. I yeah. mean, this this milk doesn't look like normal milk. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. when you go to pour a glass, there's like there's cream. I mean, yeah. it's clearly not Brahms yeah. milk. There's and so we used to call it, it that. We would call it. We'd ask her every time, like, is this is this is this Brahms milk or real milk? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'd ask her every time. She was like, "What? I, I don't know what yeah. you're talking about." I know. You're talking like, about. I think you got a pretty good idea of what you did this morning. <laughs> yeah, I think I mean, know what's yeah, you know what's happening here. Yeah. And we would make. Uh, we would also we would make our own butter. And stuff like we get on the trampoline and you put it in a big jar. You take the cream and you put it in there and you shake it. Yeah. And you had to shake it for a while. So we get on the trampoline and we'd take turns shaking it. It was perfectly normal back then. And now I'm like, that was, yeah. <laughs> these things we were doing were, they're insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Growing up on a farm, you don't dude. think about it. And it was cool. Now, you know, looking back, I thought it was a yeah. cool thing. Like we had, the first time I noticed that like we lived out in the middle of nowhere and that like not everyone lived on a farm was when we went to school and we had a uh, field trip. To our farm. <laughs> and it was like, it was like, oh, they're coming here. It's like, yeah. 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 You know, since you guys are like, you yeah. know, <laughs> native people. Are we going to, to y'all's parents' house? <laughs> like, and you're like, <laughs> like, why don't we go to y'all's farm? Like, yeah. we don't. Yeah. yeah we're going to come walk, walk on our sidewalk. Yeah. You're like, I actually would love to see what that's like. I'd love, yeah. 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 Sidewalks. What is so it? It's a sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's concrete? Yeah. Is yeah. yeah. We had, it was, I thought it was the coolest thing ever, though. And like the girls got in there and I thought it was an absolute stud. Like, I thought showing off was. What I just told you yeah. is that I could milk a gallon <laughs> in a minute, and it was and awesome. That's what you did, yeah. And the girls when they were there, they thought it you was, were going, and yeah, they I were was like, like, I was just like, yeah, yeah. And they were just like, like, this I is don't incredible. Know. It's it, she's not. I just did it this morning, so <laughs> it's not coming out. <laughs> as good. And I swear, like, it's still in the two minutes, and the girls are like, you said a minute, yeah. And you're like, two minutes is pretty good. Like man. that's really yeah. good. Five minutes is the. Average. What do you think you're at now? I've been working on my RPMs. I don't know what I'm at right now. I've been training. I think you had help. What would you do with the milk? Yeah, I mean, we would we would drink it and we would yeah. give it away to like our neighbors and stuff. Would you keep it cold? Yeah. So you would just would you ever drink it straight? You never. You're asking me if I've drank from the teat is what yeah. you're trying to get at. Yeah. 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 I did not not for fun. I did it as is, dares. Is it really taste that it's like? Yeah. Pretty different. It's very different. Very different. It's good. So with the most of it though, you took it to a dairy. No, we didn't take it to a dairy. We just like. You would the way you would pasteurize. You wouldn't pasteurize it, but you yeah. would you would cleanse it by putting <laughs> pantyhose around the jar, mm. and then you would pour it out, and that's the way you separated the cream. The more I talk about it, the weirder yeah, it was. Just, yeah. Pretty weird go, childhood. Yeah, you have to go buy just a bunch of pantyhose. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I had a bunch of them. Yeah. Still got them. <laughs> Keep them up. Them going. <laughs> These are so special. Them going to when you start comedy, which yeah. you already you already planning on it. Mm-hmm. You got to your first Here. one's got to be the. Your, your school going to your house. Yeah, yeah that's hilarious. Yeah, I've so already thought of the name trip. of it. That's gonna be. I have a name for the special. special. Yeah. What is it? Let's call the Milkman. The Milkman. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Thought yeah. of it just now. Yeah. Yeah. The Milkman. And they're gonna be like it's very confused whenever yeah. they hear that. Like, so you you don't deliver it's, milk. Uh, it's nothing like they that. go and everybody's joking around. They go, "What is it? Like an hour on like milk and cows?" Yeah. And they go, <laughs> "Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like, that's like what do you got? Yeah. What you milk exactly cows? What it is? Yeah. Yeah. Got quite a bit. It's a full hour. Yeah. On full hour cow milking. I could I could honestly probably talk several hours about milking because it, it's a very complex situation. So there and, were, and there's it's not easy. Some cows hate it. So there would be cows that you would not and do you have to get it out of them? You have to get it out. Or they, or they will get or they will become it'll 
disease, like basically from the inside out, they'll get like their milk bag will. Does it yeah. kill them or? It can. Yeah, it can. they can get diseases and it's very bad. So yeah, I've been trying to advocate. You, yeah. I, I sound like I'm a, I'm here to talk about this yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, we have a milk <laughs> cow. Guys, I'm really glad that you I'll have you me what, on here. People do rhinos. People do elephants. <laughs> yeah. No one's no, no one's doing talks cows. about the mi- milk cow. No. Public service announcement. Yeah. So, but I, I, so if there is there milk cows in the wild? Are they not? <laughs> I mean, I'm just like I just picture I was cows. Just, yeah, even yeah, what are they doing without us yeah. milking it? You know the places that you've never been to, like in Wyoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're just out there. I mean, just in herds, just yeah. running milk slosh and like I honestly, somebody help I us milk. Are they? I don't know. So you not. don't even know. No, there's, not, there's not. There's not wild Word milk cows. cows. That's the most ridiculous. Like I hope though, somewhere in Australia, there's just wild so milk cows made, just running. I mean, milk I, obviously, everywhere. at some point, they were wild. The majority of cows are beef cattle, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I typed "wild Dairy Queen." <laughs> That's a little. <laughs> I don't think you want to. I don't think you want to go That's through little, that. Uh, it's Freudian a slip right there. Yeah. yeah that's, Did you ever say why cows wear bells? Uh, no, but the reason that they did that. So going back to uh, back in the day, like if a cow tried to, if there was a huge field, you, it's not like you can see them. Yeah, I mean it, they can get out. Like we had, like you know, there was like three hundred acres around there. That they could just walk on, and so when you go to like, if you had your one milk cow, you'd be like, God, I gotta go find this cow. Oh, yeah. And it's not like everyone had four wheelers back then, where they're just like, you know, or GPS, where they're just finding their cow, like she's in the. You could be in the back. Like you'd have to four walk. bottles. Yes. That's well, you'd, you'd bring them in like you would with feed. Oh, okay. But yeah, it would be it was so they could find their. Yeah. I'm sure there's other things, I, but I'm pretty sure that's so. Probably some what don't from. like it, and some do like it. Yeah, I mean, they all like it. Once this you is get, getting yeah, weird, yeah. yeah. Oh no, they all like it. They're yeah. super. Yeah. <laughs> they go. Hey, they, t- they tell you they don't like yeah. it, but they like. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had a. Uh, yeah, it, but they like it because it hurts to have that much milk. Yeah, you know. Imagine just and how often do you got to do there that? Every day. Oh, you got to milk a cow every day. Every single. So day. A sometimes cow, twice a day. A cow has to be milked every day. Yes. Not all of them. If they've had, if they're producing milk, then they do. Yeah, they have to be milked every day. And we weren't like the, you know. Are they producing all year round? Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's pretty crazy. And does someone just pour the milk pretty. in the top of them, and that's how it gets <laughs> to the bottom of it? Yeah. And then you think, well, why don't we just get him to do it? And they yeah. go, no, it's better to go through the cow. Yep. Wow. Well, and you feed them milk. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's how they make it. Wow. Yeah. Actually, there's uh-huh. no such thing as milk cow. They yeah. just, they're able to hold it. So like, why don't we, why don't we just, if we feed it to them, they can hold it to us yeah. for a while. <laughs> Do you have the history? Yeah. The last wild cow on earth is believed to have died in Poland in 1627. I knew that. So Jeffrey. Th- his name was Jeffrey. <laughs> Great guy. He's a really good guy. But there are no more wild cows in the world. They've all, they're yeah. fully domesticated. Yeah. Pretty crazy. That's pretty weird to think. That's something you don't. But did think they always about. have milk? Yeah, yeah. I, think so. I mean, yeah. all mammals do. Yeah, yeah they all do. I know, but you're not that's milking. Tr- that's true. Female mammals. Yeah. Yeah. That's- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all all man. We all do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, right. We don't. all do it, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys do it, right? I, have to, no, every no, day. I feel so sluggish. Yeah, yeah I have no idea. I got to do it at least twice a day, or I'm just I get swole. <laughs> Did you ever have like you milked the whole thing and then you just knock the bottle over and you're like, dude? I, there was a cow that we had that they're very smart animals. Like, are they? They are very. smart. I thought someone told me they were the dumbest animals. They're pretty. They're dumb in some areas. Yeah, kind of like you know, it's like yeah, you. It's, it's like, like me. you know, yeah. like you're a smart guy, but pretty dumb in other areas. We you know? we, we get something <laughs> like you see you and I are this, like we could be smart. <clears throat> yeah, but we're pretty dumb. You see a cow like standing on top of a car, and you're like. I mean, that's the dumbest animal, but how did he figure out how to get on that <laughs> yeah. car? Like, it's also a genius. Like, why did he get on that yeah. car? He didn't know that that's a Buick. Yeah. yeah. You know, but he's up there. Is it true that cows can walk upstairs, but not downstairs? <sighs> this is really I, making a lot of things. I remember we were kicking around ideas for a senior prank high school, and somebody said, we bring some cows in, walk them up the stairs, then they can't come back down. That you know that makes a lot of sense. We didn't have a ton of stairs at the farm, but I, so I haven't yeah. tested out the theory. I but I know. think I did hear that one time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. But that's they have like eight stomachs, or is it eight, seven stomachs? Eight, stomachs? yeah, mm. it's something. Know. It's something yeah. crazy. Cattle are wild. They're they're wild animals. Well, not so anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, not yeah. anymore. And we know. So what that. were you gonna say? They Four. were smart. Four stomachs. So yeah, they would get like she would get annoyed that she was you know having to be milked. milked. 
And you would get like you have. I would milk Betsy, in a pan. Come on, and Betsy. Like, come on, Betsy. I'm trying to think of the name of, of what her name actually was. It was Daisy. Daisy. Daisy was her name. Yeah, she was a Daisy. Jersey Jersey milk cow. And and you would get her in by going. She's like, from New Jersey. Suck, 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 suck. That was like the call. What was it? Yeah, no, I'll do it only once. No, uh, do it one more time. <laughs> you go suck, 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 suck. Yeah, and that's how you'd get them in. Something's wrong with that Mooney family yeah. over so, there. They they got, like those, well, they are. They don't go to somebody that got. What's churches. that? You also show up. What's that? <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> that's also how we had uh, family reunions. Yeah. It was a real problem. Is that not the church. same as a pig? Yeah, uh, uh, pigs are a little bit different. I also don't know where these calls come from. Yeah. I just know that my family mm. did that one. Yeah. And there was a different one for goats. Man, there is nothing more than I hope someone writes in and says that. That's not the call for cows, and your family made up their own call. <laughs> like I'm pretty I sure would that we did. Love it if it was just like I, I think everyone because I feel like every farmer had their like they have their, their own call. Thing. Yeah, I yeah. know that my go- we have, at one point we didn't. My mom bought these goats because this guy was selling them, and she loved animals. Like this was not how we made our living. My dad has a construction company. Yeah, that's like this is was, like for fun. This was for a good time. My yeah. dad was not an animal <laughs> lover. Like you know. So then he was later after we had a hundred million of them. And so we had chickens, cows, we had goats, we had, the, we had horses, we had the whole, the gamut. We had geese, wild animals. He told us about, what did he get? Bears. Llamas. Oh yeah. He the, got uh, emus. Emus. He yeah. got emus. Those were aggressive and they, and, and they it, killed. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. a whole story. It was a whole for story. Another time. Yeah. But she had got these 60 goats and she was like, <laughs> she was super excited about it. And there was one that came in, he was the billy goat and his name was Big Jim. Yeah, and if you spanked Big Jim, it was like a thing. Like the the guy, like it's the only thing he talks about. Like there's sixty goats. There's got to be other things you need to know about these goats before my mom, you know, buys them. And but but Big Jim, the only thing that he told us about these goats was like, don't spank him. Where it was like well, that was the first thing I was gonna do. Like I can't wait to spank that Billy Goat. <laughs> I can't wait for this, dude. But it's they were like Barbara Streisand. I don't. Part. I think they they might have done it like the like kids or something. Like on the farm had spanked this goat, yeah. and he would chase him. And this this goat is literally like the size of you and me. Like it's a looks like a horse. Literally, yeah. literally looks like like he would be. He's he was bigger than me. Like if I got an off horse, yeah, 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 he's massive. And so I would always like I'd have buddies come over. And like we thought it was hilarious. You'd just kind of give him a little swat, and he would chase you around until he butted you <laughs> yeah. very hard and knocked yeah. you to the ground. Yeah. Wow! And it was awesome. It was almost like a, a heat seeking missile where you just like <laughs> when yeah. your buddies up there, you slap them and you get in cover. And yeah. it's uh, Y'all just all hell going, is about to break loose. He like you know what he likes? He likes slapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just laughing just at sideways. Oh no, he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what I like great. to picture. You, what was the the calling of the cow? It was, I'd like to just we'll, we'll play you can it just now. Say it. Yeah, no, I don't think it's, it's my nose. It's suck 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 Can you make an ooh sound? Ooh suck 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 you're annoyed at your parents. You're a child. Your parents annoyed you because you got to go. Shay, you got to go get the milk out. You're like, I'm tired of living in this <laughs> farm. I got to go get this milk out. The screen door slams behind you. Like, mom, dad, so st- I can't. He's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> you got to just call it out. But just being so angry yeah. as a kid because you're going to so have normal bad. angry upset. Like, yeah. I'm so tired. My sister's there. You're driving me crazy <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> And then you gotta go. <laughs> My family's all coming by, like, is it time for dinner? Yeah. We also, the best one though, where I was going with the 60 goat thing, the other thing was the the way that you got, they would go like and stay in like the South Field, and there's 60 of these goats. And so you would literally yell, in goats. That was their call. You go, yeah. in goats. And 60 goats come running around this corner like it's wow. a freaking stampede. And it was amazing to watch. I think you get, you get a phone call. Bad news. Oh. She's gone. She's gone. But then you look and you're like, oh, she's so sad. So, so, so. <laughs> you got to do it sad. Yeah, like, whatever emotion so, you're so, in. So, so, <laughs> yeah. so, so, so. Oh, God. It's so, like, wow, so, 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 she was taken so soon. So, 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 so. <laughs> oh, you still got to yell it. Still got to yell it. And goats. And goats. Would, yeah, would they come at different times? Like, you see, you're like, and goats. And then, <laughs> did I say so, 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 so? <laughs> yeah. Did cow. I say sucks a cafe? <laughs> did I didn't I? say it. Did you hear that? Daisy? <laughs> Daisy? <Beat it. laughs> they would all cut. We also, we had bulls. And those were, we had one named Gibraltar. And we played with him oh. like a 
a pet when he was yeah. a kid, big mistake. <laughs> because he got bigger and he still wanted to play and he was massive. Yeah. And he was a Jersey Bull, which is like the number one most dangerous bull in the world. And he but he was cool. He was yeah, he wanted to butt heads with you. Yeah. But he was yeah, he was a sweet bull, but very could have just uh, unleashed hell. Because he is like a dog size when he's when he's a baby, kinda. Yeah, yeah, they uh, were very small. So no, like he was cool. a yeah, they were yeah. And then they get they get absolutely massive. Dude, he they, looked like he was a body. Would you feel would some of the animals like love you? Like that you could tell yeah. that they, you know. Yeah. Did you ever have yeah, to lived, cast, <laughs> ever have to castrate cattle? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do that. My grandpa did. They had they had like actual like beef cattle and they did that whole deal. So I'm yeah, I did it. Let's not talk about <laughs> I mean, it on this yeah. podcast, but that what is yeah, what is that? Is I've, it you I've make it helped with that before? Yeah, it's, not, oh, yeah. it's not a great experience. I mean, usually you have one bull among a bunch of Cows and the and the rest of the male calves you castrate them, yeah, uh, so they can't reproduce. So that yeah. means you know just yeah. cut off the genitals and then you just they just do it and then they would just throw it yeah off. And one yeah, time that's... we were doing it and a guy ducked and the other guy behind it just hit, hit him right here in the <laughs> cheek and just went down his cheek. Oh god, <laughs> dude! I mean, I had a I very mean, vivid. Bull, does the bull go crazy? Well, I mean, they're holding down. It's a calf. Yeah. And they're holding them uh, down. Uh, I yeah, picture it as a grown a bull. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, all right, we're going to go do it. And then you walk out there and you're like, oh, they're not little? <laughs> you're, like, yeah. you're like, no, nah, dude, they're, 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 they're huge. Big. They're riding it, trying yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah. At the same I, don't time. Ever, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen bull, you know. No. It's their, yeah. yeah. It's a real deal. It's a procedure. <laughs> we're, we're talking, I'm trying to think of something big enough to show you. Nothing around I here. I think we, you know, yeah. oh, you pretty, <laughs> big, pretty you big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking. Big. We get you know, basketball. Yeah. We're talking watermelon size sometimes. Okay. Yeah. So you can just say that. Wow. There's no watermelon size. <laughs> yeah. You, you just got that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, well, excuse me. I'm mean, have to carry yeah, watermelon with two hands I'll or under it. your. Yeah. Well, you you're not. You know, it's not like a yeah. orange yeah. that you're walking <laughs> with. I mean, watermelon's like yeah, you don't like, bring in other stuff with yeah. a watermelon. You don't yeah. walk in with a watermelon and go. I also have the rest of the groceries. Yeah, you, yeah. You you watermelon's get, its own single trip. It is. It's a single trip item. So are bulls. and that's just one. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> yeah, that's, maybe not each. We're, we're not. We're talking about the whole. Uh, How are you talking about the whole thing? The whole thing. Okay. okay. Yeah, the whole Walmart. Oh, side. Well, that's not that impressive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what would you? Would y'all? You have pigs? We didn't have pigs. No, pigs were disgusting. And that's suey. From, yeah, because that's Arkansas's yeah. thing. Suey. Yeah, my my uh, cousin Tori had pigs. His family like they had pigs, and it was they actually had a like a pig like a full on farm. Like that's what his uncle did, and it was pretty disgusting. Like they're they're eating stuff that's like, hey, the sewage backed up. It's like don't worry about it. We'll collect it, then <laughs> yeah. we'll feed it to the pigs. Pigs would eat anything. It was eat, disgusting. Yeah, like, they, they, it's they, like hard stuff. Like hey, I got this baseball bat. I need to get rid of. Yeah. Like oh, we got the place. Yeah. That's like a whole thing. Like that's people the, like that's they hide body. Like they feed. Yeah. That's like a yeah. thing. Wow. Y'all could hide a body where y'all were growing. Oh yeah. Well, easily. we we wouldn't need to hide yeah, it. You and her, They'd be yeah. like, oh, that's great. Yeah. No, it's, it's in the open. Just let it. Yeah. <laughs> what animal? <laughs> what animal uh, on the farm is the easiest to have? Like the less, the least yeah. amount of work, the least. Hmm. Like you know, because I I feel like people think they want to farm. And then yeah, they don't realize it's a full time job. I mean, mm-hmm. could y'all? You couldn't. What would you do for like vacation? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just learning. Could you? This. You were supposed to. I mean, leave? could y'all ever leave? Yeah, I mean, you. You know, we had people like you'd have to have people. Not come. people, but it was like our, you know, our family members, and there was other people. There's other farmers. God, around that's worse and, than asking someone to move. It was. Yeah. Hey, can you watch my uh, farm for me? Can for you a go milk forty cows? Yeah. <laughs> And you're like, are you serious, are you dude? Crazy? Well, we're trying to go to Kings Island in Cincinnati. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't go on much, but there was. It's not that there was like one cow. Like we didn't have fifty cattle to to to. <laughs> he, he likes that Kings Island. Right? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> That's the most random place. <laughs> well, we didn't want to go to vacation there. Yeah, no. You ever been to Kings Island? No. It's great. I've never <laughs> even heard of it. I don't know where Kings Island <laughs> oh, is. That's the world's longest roller coaster. The Kings Island does? Or you yeah. did it one time, or the steepest or fastest. <laughs> Kings Island would be where you're going to you have a farm. You know, we've <laughs> you saved that up that's for five pinnacle. years to go to Kings Island. You're like, all right, where's it, Bahamas or something? You're like, Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving up. Like, Cincinnati. Uh, Kings Island had the, the longest wooden roller coaster in the world, the Beast. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. And uh, <laughs> finally got it. Yeah, I've been, we would go to it. I've been there. I've been to it. I've been there. Yeah. 
I wrote it. My dad, we, we he told us if we ride it, we can get whatever we want uh, at the thing. And I bought a hat that had like and here you know, it like is. a safari hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn, where, the, turn where, the lights off. Yeah, yeah. Where can you get this ridiculous yeah, yeah. Toy Story hat? <laughs> this that Nike looks hat? like something that you would that would have like it was right next to the I aliens. Bought it this week. This is what a uh, female Jason Day. I do. All I the like, golfers wear. Okay. I didn't yeah. get it from them, but how'd they do this? Oh, they didn't. Okay. Yeah, Tony did good. <laughs> he did wonderful. Tony did good. That does the colors remind me of Toy Story. You know, when they yeah. go down there and they get the aliens out of the thing. That's the color scheme. <laughs> like that might even be on like, the claw. A kid's he got it from a claw machine. Yeah, just yeah, like that, yeah. I, that yeah. looks about like that. Yeah, I love it. Clearly, uh, what is it in the underneath <laughs> belly? Real quick, what's uh, it's got an interesting Black. divot. You know yeah. what I mean? Have you noticed it? I don't know. It's two tier. Is this what is this what your uncle Terry looked like <laughs> before he grew? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Turns out it was just the hat that he was wearing. Yeah. It was, <laughs> y'all are gonna see? I'm gonna grow one day. Yeah, that, looks guess, like, that looks like uh, what's his name from it Andy just Griffith? Flipped up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that looks yeah. like Elmer. Let me tell you something. Y'all laugh now, <laughs> but I'm gonna grow one day. <laughs> that hat looked like the sun was like he needed yeah. it out of his in his eyes. Like, yeah. what'd you guys say? <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> <laughs> then you have to do that in the middle of the. <laughs> Would you ever just wake up and he'd be like to that noise? <laughs> yeah, so come you just hear your dad outside. You're just dead asleep at five thirty. My morning. dad did not take care of the animals, so he would never. It was my mom. Yeah. I don't think he knew. He, I think he's just finding out that we had a farm. Yeah. And cattle. He's like, that's what you guys were Where doing. was this? Where'd you guys grow up at? That's what his <laughs> dad asked. <laughs> Where'd you guys, where was that? Where'd you guys, uh, where did this happen? Was it, were you having to like do all this stuff? I mean, what, what age are you like, I don't want to do this anymore? Uh, I mean, High I school? didn't like getting up at 530. Yeah. I'll tell you that. I hated that. Because you, then you had to drive an hour, yeah. and I had basketball practice like first to period. school. Yeah, so you had to get up at five thirty just to go to school, not to do the. Well, that was just to milk, so we could get everything done. done. Yeah. yeah, so it was. Yeah, it was cool though. Especially looking back now, it was literally like it was paradise yeah, being out there. Great, but growing up in it, you just think I got to get out of here. Yeah, it's just like there's no, there's nothing going on around here but i mean like you were i'm saying like how old were you when you're is it like you get like 12 13 you're like mom i don't want to milk these cows anymore like, <sighs> i had no option because my sisters yeah. were like they when they went to like college i was still in like you know 10th 11th yeah probably actually the point ninth grade so there was no one there like i, I, say, had, so to I, basically, I had to do yeah. it <laughs> yeah, yeah i thought you were my sister in college i mean so i was in I fourth was grade senior I in just... high school about to go to college i'm like oh, i thought you were gonna say <laughs> i was in third grade and <laughs> I, and that's when i was born and yeah so i started to pick up the slack but i had to do it there was nobody else there no i mean my there. mom did a lot of it we yeah. had like she had like a farm hand that would help us yeah yeah but, yeah you have to yeah you have to yeah Oh. Yeah, chicken. To go back to your question, that your original question of what's the easiest to have, I'd probably say uh, chickens are pretty. Chickens are great. Yeah, like they're just a. We. I mean, she had a lot at one point where it was like, but we would we would eat the eggs and like you know we would actually use it. Yeah, and I love eggs. It was like a, you know, there's yeah. nothing like a farm but fresh then, egg. Yes, but then with chickens, you get the stuff that wants to get those chickens. You do, and then that's varmints. Yeah. Varmints. Snakes. Y'all go in, you'd go walk, walk in there, just snake bean, oh, yeah. eggs. A lot of snakes. A lot of snakes. Would get eggs. I mean, there is actually recently, I went to visit my parents in Arkansas and I was, we had taken our bus down there. My dad put like shore power at the farm and I, we, we parked it down there and I get a call from my mom at like 11 o'clock, which she doesn't stay up that late anyway. Yeah. So I thought honestly that someone was like, I thought someone had saw our bus. You're staying there. I'm yeah. on, the, we're yeah. on the bus. Like my yeah. kids are on there and Hannah. And I was just like, she calls me and she was, she was like, Shay, she asked me this. First of all, I don't have, a, it's not like I, I did not have a gun. Yeah. Like, she asked, the first thing she asked, like, it was just like, we're going well, into war. She goes, do you have your gun? Like I <laughs> yeah. had, like I have a gun on me at all times. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got it right here. I was well, if you're on a farm, you got to have a gun. For sure. Yeah. But it's, I was, uh, you know, I'm sitting there, but she's, do you have your gun? And I was like, mom, you know, for a fact, I don't, I don't. Yeah. And so I'm like, I run out here. I, I think there's intruders. Yeah. And I'm like, there's people out here and I'm like f on full dad mode of like, I'm going to have to murder at least 55 people. There's, <laughs> there's been, a, there's been yeah. an occurrence and there's people raiding. We don't know what's going on. It might be aliens. Yeah. No, like no idea what's going on. I get in there. Mom was, she was like, 
she's sitting there and she's holding. She's like, "There's a snake in here," and I was like, "You should have told me that before." I thought my whole family was about to yeah, die yeah, 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 <laughs> in, yeah. in, in, in some sort of an absolute tragedy. So I go in there. And there's a snake. It's like probably eight feet long, and but it had fallen from the raptor, which is, it happens a lot. They'd be like going and they'd get up in the raptors of the barn and these things are like nine to ten feet tall sometimes or long huge black snakes and they'll just like call them chicken snakes is usually what they call them because they're usually the ones who try to get in there with the you know and get the eggs and it was just massive and it's dark there's no lights on there and i have literally yeah yeah there there they are right there that's exactly what they what they look like. They're massive. Wow. Yeah. And so in and a lot of times you, you see that picture up there with the uh what looks like probably a, a Dominecker chicken, I think is what that's called. This one? Yeah. Or it's a No. Anyways, the snakes would get up in there and they'd wrap around. Like they'd get in there with the chicken and the chicken doesn't really know what to do. It's not like they can just like peck them to death. Like they're yeah. fully <laughs> it, they're like, This is my life now. The snake's in here with me. And so the way you go gather eggs is you literally – and when they're sitting on them, they don't like you to touch them anyway, like the hens. Yeah. And so you got to go in there. Sometimes they'll peck you and you got to like – you know, you get the eggs out or whatever. And like some, I, there, there's been times where I've reached in there and there's a snake in there. Yeah. Which is a terrifying experience. Oh. It's horrible. I've stepped like on a re- barefoot. Like underneath the – Yeah, you reach in there and it's dark. You know, we didn't yeah. have lights. So you'd get in there and you grab them and you just feel a snake. And you're just like, okay, I'm going to try not to panic. And it yeah. was, yeah, it was God. But yeah, we, we had to, we had to uh, get that snake out. I had to, had to get it out of there for her. And it was yeah. terrifying. And she was trying to hold it down. And it had like, it looks like it had eaten like a hundred eggs. It has mm. this huge thing in the middle of it. It either ate an actual chicken yeah. or it just had eggs in it. And so she, and then at one point she goes, I lost him. And I was like, oh my God. And it's dark. She has her phone light. She's trying to like do this. And this snake is like eight feet long and it's like running around the side. And I'm sitting there trying to catch it and get yeah. it out of the barn but yeah we got it we got, got it. it the extermination we just we took him out to the to the side we did we let him yeah. live he's but we re, we <laughs> took him to the neighbor's farm yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we don't like him <laughs> just put him in there <laughs> that's the hard part how often do they lay eggs how much can a chicken lay i mean it's it can be if you have a bunch of chickens there's i mean there's eggs every day yeah but there has yeah it's I don't remember anymore. I know we always had eggs every morning. We'd go and gather yeah. eggs. So you think the chickens ever like not again? Like it just <laughs> yeah. you know the first time it happens like she goes that was weird. I lost all my children the other day. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're we're having another one. So I hope. Oh God, it's happening again. Oh God. <laughs> just every day. <laughs> just every day. <laughs> it's the saddest day it's ever so for a chicken. Horrible. Yeah, that's why they walk. Around. They don't say much. Yeah, you know they're just like. Phew. Yeah, go. live a pretty tough life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Depression among chickens yeah. is uh, it's not it's good. through the roof. It's through <laughs> through the, the roof. The roof. The roof. Yes. The uh, yeah. The what's uh, what is some, it called? Almost, what is it? A coop. It's through the coop. Through the coop. Yeah, it's through the through coop. the coop. Yeah, some more Arkansas stuff. Yeah, you know what the biggest employer in Arkansas is? Walmart. Walmart gotta be. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna guess Walmart, and I thought you were gonna throw JB Hunt in there. Yeah. For some oh, reason. Oh yeah. Walmart's the also, biggest employer in the world. Really, two point three million employees. They're doing good. They make I think, think someone would have employed more people than that. Well, according to I guess that's a lot. Two point three. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people. Eight working billion there. people. Yeah. You would think that. I bet Amazon is going to end up being more than that. But they have so much like, like there, you technology. Just think, hey, there's eight billion people. Are there that many different jobs that only two point three million of the eight billion people work for one company? Amazon. I actually, that makes me happy to yeah. be honest. Yeah. yeah, that it's that like, few. Yeah, the, yeah, that if you had told me five hundred and seventy-five thousand. Yeah, that's a- it? Amazon half a million employees. Yeah. Wow, I mean, it's significantly more. Walmart has significantly. <laughs> more. Amazon's going to go buy that, but they're also like it's a wow. lot of now technology. It's, to, it's a lot yeah. Of, they since two thousand eighteen when that stat came out, they've more than doubled one point three million. Amazon. Oh, so, that's Amazon does. That yeah, so they're they're crushing it, but Walmart's still up there, man. So Walmart's the world's biggest family-owned business. It's the largest privately employed workforce. <laughs> Just a mom and pop. They make a uh, <laughs> mom and pop yeah. shop. That's my joke about it. Yeah. Mom and pop shop. Why would you get mad at them? Because they're it's just sure. like, but it's what you strive for. Yeah. Which yeah. is it's it's a you know <clears throat> it's kind of a double-edged sword. And like I do root for you root for that business. You root for that person to be like you should be able to get as big as you want. But then they also become so dominant that it's a problem. Yeah. Uh, it's like music where it's like the indie stuff. Yeah. When people become super successful, they're like, oh, like they Metallica sold out. Metallica was like that. 
Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's like there's guys, a lot of people who don't like it because like yeah. you sold you sold out. Yeah, yeah. But you so guys agreed to sell out pretty early. <laughs> yeah. So you guys did it early. I'm, I'm just reading this quote <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. here from, <laughs> from Rolling Stone. Uh, yeah. Susu Kui <laughs> magazine. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a magazine. Suk 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 Cafe yeah. magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Farm edition. Farm the, <laughs> like there was another edition farmers that, that sold out yeah. Shay Mooney actually the only person on the list is Shay Mooney <laughs> <laughs> you're the only farmer that's ever sold out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's no one every there's other no farmer else. still grinding <laughs> yeah. but Shay Mooney but they're happy for me bailed pretty I'm quickly sure. yeah. Yeah. I'm like guys like, I don't want to do this no more I don't think it's I don't think it's sustainable this is, this is bad uh, some famous people from Arkansas Bill Clinton mm. from Hope Sam Walton didn't grow up in Arkansas, but moved there later. Oh, yeah. Bentonville. Johnny Cash. Glenn Campbell. Wow, I don't know. Johnny Cash was there. Johnny Cash, yeah. When did he die? 2003, I think. He's oh, dead? Okay, a while ago. <laughs> yeah. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah. Um, That's, yeah, he's from that. Uh, just, I, the people in my way, Justin Morris from, uh, from Arkansas, country mm-hmm. singer. Um, Joe. Who else? It's uh, one of the Joes. Yep. You're right. Smith. Joe Smith. Uh, I don't know. Yep. Great guy. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Oh. Ooh. I'd do that. Scotty Pippen. I think Billy Bob Thornton might have, the, we might have the same birthday. Oh, yeah? I don't know that for a fact. Who do you think's older, <laughs> Shay or Aaron? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, who do you think's older, Shay or uh, Billy Bob Thornton? I think I know. <laughs> I think Shay is uh, I'm older? barely older. Really? Yeah. How old are you? 29. You're 29 now? I'm 29. When do you turn 30? Uh, December 27th. Oh, I'm a month older than him. Yeah, you're so oh, way yeah. You can oh, tell yeah. it too. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah. you're so much older. Yeah. Yeah. We're in Sunny D hats now. We're both at the, the same point of our career. Like, yeah. we're both, yeah. Here's both the deal. I feel like <laughs> if someone was like <laughs> guessing who's older, you or Nate. Yeah. I feel like that would be a harder. Like, why? Because I feel like I look old. I, yeah. But I, I could look anywhere. I'm going to look like this for a long time. And you're kind of the similar situation i know but like I've, if you dyed your beard people there would be no indication of how old you are yeah you Nate, nate's reverse canvas. aging he yeah. is yeah it's uh if i told yeah. someone i was 45 they'd be like sounds yeah. right that yeah. sounds about right. thornton was born in august by the way it's yeah. Not, yeah. not even yeah. close I, I, same birthday a, though i guess that story i've been telling for the last same 10 years birthday. <laughs> every time it comes up yeah, Bill, oh, Bill yeah i think yeah. we have the same birthday we share like, birthday you know you know what what is his birthday uh august 4th you better get him some. My sister's birthday is August 5th, so it's the same. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. That's what you meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. It was all tied exactly. up. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. could have been born at midnight. We don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, he doesn't know. It. <laughs> he doesn't. It's they fine. didn't even keep time back then. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> back then. Uh, <laughs> the what was time introduced in Arkansas? Okay. <laughs> uh, 19. Well, we call it the, the 50s because yeah, we, didn't, yeah. we didn't keep track before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just found out a couple uh, yeah, a couple years ago that like the, the 40s, 30s, and 20s happened. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't uh, know. Who knows? No one knows. No one knows. In Arkansas, no one knows. But so you get up and the sun comes up. Yeah. Go to bed when it goes down. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The winters are pretty short days. <laughs> Do y'all uh daylight saving time? Y'all really love it. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Is that does that matter for you as farmers? Would you ever know that? It would if we were like a you know, if we were making our living like, you know, sowing the fields. Is that why like, like why does that matter for farmers? Well, it's just it's it's for for more sunlight. Oh, basically. So why don't they just keep it? It doesn't make any sense. No, yeah. we've all been talking. Yeah. I don't think the farmers want it. I don't know who wants it. Yeah, I don't think anyone's been like, we got to protect this daylight savings time. Do uh, do y'all talk about daylight savings a lot in the farming community? You know, we'd talk more about than it. people. Well, think. we'd have our daylight savings time weekly meeting. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more than people think. Which maybe not actually, as much as people want. Yeah, and we had to do that. There was a call for that as well because we didn't yeah. keep time. So it was a so you know. We had to do that. And they'd be like, oh, we know it's a Tuesday. He does this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, goes, <laughs> he, uh, he goes, good afternoon, everybody. And they go, what are you talking about? It's 11 in the morning. Uh, How does he, know? he doesn't know. He has no reason. He's, no yeah. way he can know that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Some movie shot in Arkansas. Sling Blade. Probably the most popular. Convenient. Mm-hmm. Yep. For Billy Bob. Yeah. Yep. That really worked so, out. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I yeah, he's from that. there. You know, he was born on my birthday. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mentioned I have short-term memory <laughs> yeah. loss. So you got to. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever, uh, were you old enough to remember when Clinton was president? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it goes, yeah. dropped my head like, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah. yeah I was there. Uh, so he was president there. when you were born? Have no, wait. you forgot? Probably right after you were born. Yeah, he was, I, yeah, he was, I mean, what, I was, I was born in 91. He's, and he was president 92. like 90, yeah. No, like, right. Yeah. You don't remember at all. 
I do remember. But he was president until 2000. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't remember when he got elected. So I you think were born in 91? Was, yeah. So you were nine. I think he was. Yeah. 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 So you were barely. Barely. Do. I was doing pretty good. Yeah. You doing yeah, pretty good. You're, you're, you're always like, yeah, of course, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I watched a lot of old movies. Here's, really, the, here's the thing. You were about, eight months old when you were born. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing about You were Arkansas. already having to milk cows at eight months old. Uh, 100%. Like I was born in there. With yeah. They're like, we want you to be around them. You're going to be with them quite a bit. But we had to like in Arkansas, you got everything later than everyone else. Oh, really? So like my TV shows that I love, like Andy Griffith is my favorite show, and I found find out like at maybe 15 years old that those weren't cur- those weren't yeah. current shows. I've, that happened to me, dude. I mean, yeah. I was like, it was yeah, it, was it kind of has nothing to do with Arkansas. I was like, yeah. I can't wait you. to fulfill my dream of meeting yeah. <laughs> Andy Griffith. This is going to be awesome, and yeah. he was like 80. Yeah. By the time that I got, to, and then I discovered Matlock, and I was like, "This is the same guy." Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was like he was eight, he was like you know seventy in that show. I thought the same thing with Andy Griffith because it was always on. It was black and white, and I just never thought that it was like we talked about here that it came out in the forties or something, yeah. the fifty, it was sixties. Yeah, that's crazy. Even, I thought it was even maybe late fifties. It's still that's one of the so, best shows yeah, of show. all time. It's great unbelievable. Would that would be? Is that how you grew up? That's how we yeah. would picture it. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. Andy Griffith is. Uh, that's pretty much just so our people world. at home could listen. They're trying to wrap their head around it. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much Mayberry. It's Mayberry. It's Mayberry. But there's like you know everybody. Yeah, you knew everyone, and it was. I mean, out of five hundred eleven people, y'all... I don't think I've ever seen fifty of them. Yeah, <laughs> we always wondered about that. Of like, did they make that up? What is, what is your town? Is it like? Uh, so it's would y'all go to a restaurant? Like, do you have no... your downtown square or anything? No, no. No, you probably saw that little, uh, the little uh, post, post office. office. Yeah, yeah that's that the center of town. Yeah. The natural dam that I showed you, that is like where people, people come from like all over and go to that. It's pretty, a pretty famous, like, you know, place, place, to place, to place to What live. did you say that arena was? That one, and that's a pretty new arena. They built that in like 2008 or nine, or maybe even later than that. But yeah. I mean, how do they build an arena in such a small town? It's and it's not that big. When you think like a rodeo arena, like it's not. Like, oh, it's a rodeo. Arena. You wouldn't. Right. It's not like it's Bridgestone. Yeah. Okay. You know, like, it's it, like it holds like maybe six hundred people. That's definitely like, it's pretty small. We don't have to be talking about as much as we are talking about. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> we keep going back to it's it. It's not a place so I'll what, be going to do a concert. Yeah. So in. what is that like? You're like <laughs> it's an outdoor pavilion, man. I don't yeah. know. It's not famous enough for it to be yeah. a, an interesting. Who point books to that, this? Dude. I think that a lot of people have you done a show there. No. In town? <laughs> no, I have not. I thought you had Heroes Arena. No, no. What if well, you went back and did one for Heroes? I, maybe I should. I'd be the hero of that arena. I mean, would you, is there, what, where, where would you have grown up going to concerts? It, that was not a thing. We didn't, like. You did it. I, what was by the, first the time I went, to, went to? I went to a concert, it was in Little Rock. It was yeah. like the closest, that's like four hours away. Oh, really? Yeah, so I mean, in Fort Smith, they would have some things with like little stuff. You know, we yeah. got Skillet one time at my high school, yeah. which was a huge deal. And that yeah. was like, you know, maybe, I think a it held, skillet, I think like, it held like 1,600. Skillet. Y'all cooked on the yeah, skillet. Yeah, yeah. It was a and cooking show. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was pretty good. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, couldn't believe it. But they what, came through there. You go, why is this food hot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's happening? So you got the band skill. They taught us about popcorn there. And awesome. y'all would have to drive to Little Rock for like a big concert. For a big concert. like Or or Oklahoma City, which we never did. Like it was just not something we did. Yeah. And so like the first, like I went and saw a couple concerts in like Little Rock. But it was not a thing that we like, concerts just weren't a thing that I did when I yeah. really grew up until I got a little older. Yeah. Where I was like, I found out it was a thing, really. I mean, our, our performances were like at churches. and. What was the first concert you went to? <sighs> I can't remember. I know that I went to. Uh, I listened. I grew up listening to a lot of like Christian yeah, gospel, yeah, yeah. and it was Casting Crowns was one of the first ones. Yeah, arena shows that I saw. Yeah, and then I, I did see Rascal Flats, and I thought that was like I was like, oh my, this is the biggest. I that was the the perspective I had growing up. Like the bands I listened to were like a lot of Christian rock, and like I listened yeah. to R&B and stuff. But I had no perspective. Like I thought Reliant K was the biggest band in the world. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, they're they're absolutely massive. And they were big ish in our but world. But in your like, world. And yeah. you y'all did a bunch of church shows, right? And I remember yeah. talking to your dad about did wasn't it uh you won a lot at these Yeah, well we did this thing called the Fine Arts Festival. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure that the Jonas brothers also did. I think I talked to Nick about this. I think that they did it as well, like a long time ago. They they grew up, you know, in church. And I think their dad was actually 
maybe an assembly of God pastor. I know he, I know he was a pastor, but I think he was like my grandpa was a pastor. But we grew up doing this thing called the Fine Arts Festival, and so like you would go and you would do it like a you do it at the state level, and you would get like a score. And if you did that, you got to go to nationals, which was always usually in a different big city. Like the year that I won it was in Florida, but they had these big like it's churches from all over the country, and so you do this thing, and if you win, you get like a scholarship. It's like a big like a music full ride to go to mm-hmm. college kind of thing. And so I had won it in like 2009, I think. And it was like, I thought it was huge. There's probably like 10,000 people. And that was like my biggest. Oh, that I know there for. that, that yeah. I performed for. And I was like, this is the biggest. Well, that's a pretty big thing. It's a big, yeah. Nationally, like, the win. Crazy. You, yeah. were, you were the, you won it. Yeah, I won it. 2009, yeah. national. Oh, oh, wow. There it is. We found it. It, it. it would have been in a male solo or, uh, yeah. Something like that. Uh, you know what? I bet vocal you, solo male, yeah. Uh, Joseph so Adams actually Shay eighth place. <laughs> is this just a list of all the people who did it? Yeah, it might be. I don't know. There yeah, I am. Shay Mooney, Shay Mooney. Assembly of God, Cedarville, Arkansas. Superior with honors. Wow, wow. Uh, present what, what Cedar. Cole Bowl. Miller's done. He also got. <laughs> <laughs> let's look up Cole Miller. <laughs> Cole, if you're listening, what to that. Cole's up to? He's a huge. He's a huge Nate Land fan. He's, yeah. This is gonna be. He's just finding out that I'm the same guy that beat him. Yeah. He's like that son of a gun, dude. Oh, that's cool. So I, I, I bet if you could track a lot of entertainers, I bet they go back to someone's a pastor in that family. Yeah. When you really think about it, because it's it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> It is crazy. Uh, it's cr- yeah. like it's because it's they're performing and they're doing you know they're talking and they're having to do this. But it, you know, I think Chris Rock's uh, dad or grandfather was a pastor, mm-hmm. and like I bet I bet I bet you could trace some stuff back to some pastors. And that like because you think a lot of times when someone does something like this, there's usually there's something that's kind of like made it. Seem and maybe like it's just the stage it. of yeah. like. Just that position of being on stage, of that being like, I want to do that. You want to be on stage? Yeah. Yes. I yeah. think that's the yeah. probably the main draw yeah. at the beginning of just like, I want to be on that side of it. And I feel like it always feels natural. I don't know if it was like this for you too, but it was when you're on stage, and maybe it's just like, maybe it's a selfish thing of just like, I like to be on this side of it and be the person performing just because that's my, you know, your personality. Mm. But I feel like there's a, you either know, like when you're on stage, you kind of know. Mm-hmm. Like this is I'm supposed to be on this side of it. Yeah, I well it depends on you so you I mean you grew up on the stage with singing yeah. at church stuff. So you were really, really on the stage a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean I'll get when I was probably li- literally three years old, I remember going this was before we moved across or down the street. And I mean I say down the street, it's a hundred yards away from that church, but to the right, yeah. there was another like tiny church and there's a you know what a parsonage is? Oh, like okay. it's a, basically where the pastor and like their yeah. wife like live. They built yeah, a little yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right next door. Yeah. And that's that's where my buddy. Actually, we have lived in one of those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're great. They're great. Yeah. If you can find I've a parsonage for sale, I think they're pretty good. Yeah, they're fine. And but anyways, I I remember going up on stage when I was like three. Like have a lot of memories of this going up. My dad would play. He played steel guitar and he played bass. And my mom would play piano. And so I would just go up like on the stage and I got a guitar that had maybe five strings and it was not tuned. And I would sit there with my ear against the the guitar and I'd just be rocking for yeah. like a good, you know, hour yeah. of us you thinking me thinking I was nailing it. Could they see when did you start singing and they were like, oh just in all those competitions you were winning them, you're it was early. I mean yeah. it was like Yeah. By the time I was like, you know, four, like we had this thing called the booster band. We'd come and up there, in. and I'd I'd go up there. It was just literally before worship started. We're yeah. like, we got the booster band coming. We'd do songs like Father Abraham, yeah, you know that one, Father yeah. Abraham yeah. and Many Sons, and you yeah. do the whole you'd spin around. We can't, we're gonna, YouTube will shut us off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about this no yeah. more. Don't sing the whole song. don't sing the whole one. We don't have the rights to. But it. that's uh, that's I I would always like perform. Then we started doing like where me and my sisters would sing together, and then we started like singing at church. And we were just always the sing like the singing Moonies. Like that was yeah. it. My mom tried to name us one time. She was like, guys, I think I have this great idea. What about Moon Song? And I was like, Mom, never I don't think you ever need to think. You don't need to be the name person. Yeah. You know, I don't think you need that response. Oh. Well, it's funny, then you when you started, a lot of people don't know, uh, you first signed with uh, T Pain. Yeah. So he was first out with T Pain, heard you on some what, YouTube or Yeah, it was like uh, yeah, it was on YouTube. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then you went on the road with T-Pain. Yeah. Lived, basically lived with him for a, a while. Yeah. It's great. He was a big, you know, country music fan. Is he and, really? Uh, yeah. He was uh, it's such a, he's a super talented guy. Yeah. And it was, uh, yeah, it was, a, that was a T-Pain, whole. T-Pain, Chris Brown was on the Some year. of the craziest, yeah, some of the craziest stuff. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. about all we could no, <laughs> yeah. it was awesome it was a great i just i had never been outside of like my little world really and so i was just kind of and you went to life. it was in atlanta atlanta yeah. so you go to Atlanta and you just stay at his house yeah i had like an, a, an apartment but that's you know his studio was there so we'd just yeah. be there every single day and and were you making your own you're kind of solo at that yeah. point <clears throat> would you open for him? Were duo, <clears throat> yeah would you open for him or anything or no it, we did some stuff but it wasn't like it wasn't a time where he was really touring yet. He was in the beginning when I first uh, did that. When I first met him, was on the road, and we, we did that in Memphis. And but yeah, it was. Uh, I was there for a year and a half or something like that before I started. Um, or I started coming to Nashville pretty immediately, but I was coming back and forth like four and a half hours from Nashville and Atlanta, like so yeah. broke, so broke. When we, when we does moved he there. see do you? Do you ever talk to him now? Like, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. We we stay in touch a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He just sees it and now. He's, I mean, he sees it now, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah. that's what I saw." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. He took a, he cool. took a chance at the beginning, and I yeah. There's no no hard that's feelings. Cool. So there. you, um, T Pain, Chris Brown. Do you think that's a different vibe on the tour bus than the three of us? You think a little bit I different? Think it's very similar. Yeah. Um, you know, who do you think to? Interest. Because yeah. <laughs> I'd go to bed. I'd love at to eight, play this game. Eight yeah. thirty. I would who's say Chris, <laughs> who's Chris Brown? Who's Chris Brown? Who's yeah. T Pain? Who's Shay Mooney? <laughs> Who's me? Yeah. I'd say Brian, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you'd have to be me, I'd say, you know, because yeah, you know. I was probably Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's what you think. Does Chris, does Chris Brown have a CPAP? I don't know how, who yeah. would be funnier yeah, yeah. as Chris Brown. I don't know if you'd be funnier CPAP, as T Pain. Uh, CPAP opens the, opens up for Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's my rap yeah. name. That's his <laughs> rap name. CPAP. C hyphen Pap, dude. Yeah. 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 First line. Can I get a plug? <laughs> Can I get a plug? Does anybody have an outlet? <laughs> CPAP. CPAP. Low yeah. battery. Low battery. C-PAP. Get the flow going. Yeah, yeah. Turn my airflow up Turn real my quick. Turn airflow up real fast. Get the humidity down a little bit. Little You're bit. right. Here we yeah. go. He goes, see, so you know the CPAP. I yeah. know all the terms. Yeah. Yeah. You got yeah. one Is the air conditioning yeah. on too low? <laughs> Who's throat itchy, everybody? Who's throat itchy? <laughs> it's only about a 10-minute performance, but yeah. it's yeah. got a lot of content yeah. in there. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, yeah, you'd be me. Yeah, you, you could be Chris Brown and, and we got T Pain over here. Yeah, he had a I'll beard. Take it. He got a beard. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> I used to do that all, like, yeah. like the, the auto tune with my chest. Yeah. It's pretty good. What that did it? sound Just amazing. Shut up. It's Nayland. Shut up. So that's the whole thing. I'm super yeah. talented. So that's, yeah. Yeah. that's my only talent. Like, yeah. He's super talented. Like, oh, was he a singer? Like, yeah, kind of. Yeah. I don't know. It's annoying, to be honest. But when you first, it's amazing. Like, that's the yeah. thing. You're can like, he sing without doing amazing. that? amazing. No, he can't. No, his chest. Look that's at the it. Wait till he takes his shirt off. And you're like, God, dude, your chest is yeah. he's really bruised. It's you know? yeah, like, yeah. I used to have a pretty big chest. Yeah. It's all muscles, but it's just dented in. Yeah. Like, golly, dude, you got a real problem there. What's the uh, hardest song to sing? Is it the, he liked, yeah, he liked <laughs> Uh, Aaron's a big fan yeah, of that. Yeah. Big fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start banging. sending you voice. I'm gonna start sending him voice memos, just yeah. exclusively. <laughs> Have you heard uh, Ale- uh, his Alex Jones? No, it's but just not. I don't no, you don't want to do it? It's not. No, no. It's, not. Right. Guys, it's it's yeah. dead it's on. Pretty solid. Sorry, I can't. no, it's okay. It's not as good as that. <laughs> Did, uh, <laughs> What's That'll hard- really get us taken off of YouTube. Yeah, what's, <laughs> start the, doing what's the hardest song? The hardest song to sing. sing. Is it the national anthem? How's that? <laughs> yeah, now, is it yeah. 2,000 hours? <laughs> as far as like just hard to sing, like I just can't, yeah. I can't bring myself to sing yeah. that song. Yeah, I'd say the national anthem is, is always a, we don't do it. Like just period. If it's you always for hear something that like note the Super is Bowl, really hard. And it's not like, I don't, to me, it's, it's not hard for me to sing it, yeah. but it is. My greatest fear is like forgetting lyrics. I don't care if we forget oh, one of yeah. our songs. I've done that. You know, if you just the crowd knows you just them. Go, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. drink, yeah, tequila. yeah, and you're just like, like oh, they got it. You, you, you can do that during the national anthem too, though. You, you just gotta. You're good. All right, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta commit to it because yeah. you're just like, you're, 
Like that would be incredible. I'm just like, you guys know this one, right? Yeah. yeah. But it, that's the most terrifying song to sing because you, you just are expected to know it. Like it's a yeah. It's a thing that there's no winning by doing the national anthem. It's a good point. There's it's no like win. You can only it's the not most mess judged up. musical yes. performance ever. But yeah. no yeah. one's but doing your it. Winning is it's powerful. We, we we did a thing like Whitney Houston did it. You have to be Whitney yeah. Houston, but it's. But you have a voice like Whitney Houston. Well, I am. People Whitney could like. You. I am do you think you get backlash if you did it auto tune though? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if well, you did we're the about chest. to find out. Yeah. Cue the track. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a. It's just you is can it do note? well. Is the note hard to hit or something? No, I thought I heard that. Yeah, I mean there, it gets high. The, where yeah. you screw yourself is if you start it too high. Oh, because people do that. That's why you'll see some people if they're not doing it to music and they'll have it like in their in ears of like. We have it. We've done it before. Like you play it like it's in your in ears. Like before it starts, it goes, and it gives you the key or your yeah. piano note, and then three, four, and then you just you do it off of click after that. Yeah. But it's it you it's terrifying because you might forget the words, which yeah. like the whole country. Watches. It's not like a song that people are like, oh yeah, I think I've heard that one. Like <laughs> yeah. everyone knows it. Yeah. It's not like oh I think he said the wrong words, but maybe yeah. I was wrong. Yeah. They know it's wrong. It's the yeah. most known song that you could possibly. Like, I thought ever it was sing. an eagle. It's a hawk. It's a hawk. That's wild. <laughs> I thought it was an eagle. There's no winning. Get, though. Yeah, You've yeah. seen people. I mean, watch the only yeah. thing that you can watch is like people like the fray did it one time and just royally screwed it up, yeah. and it's amazingly hilarious. Yeah, I think it was the fray. If it wasn't the fray, sorry, the fray. Uh, but it was. But it's something like that. I'm pretty sure it was the fray, and they. Tried I always to thought do it was it. a note. The note was like people can't do that note or something like. I mean, it's a tough note to say. What's but. what's the highest note in a song? Like, do you? I mean that's loaded. In a, what's the highest note in a song? Period. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick, you know how music works. I don't. <laughs> I said I don't. But I mean, what song has a high like that's like people? I mean, there's crazy. What are you? Like, what song are you uh, amazed by? That's a famous song where you're like, I can't believe they sang that high. Is Whitney Houston? The, yeah, I mean, she's the one that sings the highest. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those things too. It d- depends on whether I'm like a male or a female. Like Whitney Houston's gonna sing like it's gonna sound different. Like if I try if I hit a really high note. And it's at the top of your register. You just have to look at your like range of like what a high note really is, because it's like it's going to be impressive for someone who's like sings down here, like an Alan Jackson. If they hit mm. a high C, is ridiculous. Yeah. If I hit it, it's like yeah, he sings like a girl, so yeah, you can yeah. hit it pretty easily. Yeah. So it's kind of just oh, yeah. Did he hit that high C? You had a lady up there. Yeah, of course <laughs> yeah. she did. Oh, the woman yeah. singing that dance. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. He, she hit it. Yeah. She hit, she it, hit it. She basically <laughs> lives up there. Have you never seen? Have you never seen your house? It's up in Sea Town. <laughs> C- next know, to CPAP. No, yeah, next to CPAP. <laughs> They're doing well up there together. But I, I don't know what the – there's some high notes that that can be hit. The craziest stuff is like the whistle notes, whistle tones that like Ariana yeah, Grande talking. and Mariah Carey does his whistle. Yeah. So it's like they'll sing their highest note, like chest voice. And you know what a falsetto is? Like, ah. It's yeah. not like a full voice. It's like a falsetto. Yeah. Then above that, you can they, some people have this head voice that is like a whistle tone. Yeah, it's literally like it's so it's it's an octave above your highest note. It's yeah. crazy to hear. It's not very enjoyable to me to hear it, but it's up there. It's little for just like moments. It's really cool. And for right? little moments, you know? it's like Mariah, the Mariah you, Carey stuff. That she you see Mariah Carey do the national anthem at one of the Super Bowls. She does that. Yes. The last note, it hits it, and everyone's like, "Whoa!" Yeah. She hits it for like two seconds. Yes, that's all you want, and it's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah, because people just can't get there. Can you get there? Nate, I could. I'm there right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm singing so high that you haven't heard it. It's yeah. way the, out of the your dog range. whistle. Yeah, it's the dog whistle. I, are you I, getting I, into gonna, dog whistle? I'm getting into dog yeah. tones. Yeah. That's my new kind of thing. You should say I'm so high. Uh, this note that'd that be a you great way hear. to start out. I'm so yeah. high, and yeah. then that's going to be a clipable yeah. right there. Yeah. I'm so high that it's yeah. you know there it is. Uh, what's some uh, some all right. Arca- ending fun yeah oh we got some good in here. arkansas is the only uh, state where diamonds are actively discovered and mined mm-hmm. that's pretty exciting that's why y'all had a farm yes because y'all just thought I, I didn't one day the you're gonna stumble on yeah have you ever been to the crater of diamond state park <laughs> yes yeah, mm-hmm. i have yeah and my my wife loves it she likes to go like she's she wanted to be an archaeologist like growing up that was like her thing and she would go there and I don't know if it was that specific state park. I'm assuming. What if we just have pictures of your wife up? <laughs> it would be it. unbelievable. That's really good. Yeah. It's like, no, you're going to see her. She's yeah. there. So, I mean, tell us what's going on yeah, at this park. You see that house right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we live. <laughs> well, you pay to. <laughs> that yeah. wasn't there. Like, you we pay just to go there, out. and then any diamonds you find, you get to keep. You can keep oh, them. Oh, really? If y'all saw a family walk into that house, would y'all yell new money at them? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> What's yeah. crazy is that you go underneath. There's a whole house under there. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. just the. So they're like, ah, oh, that we don't want to go in this crappy little house. I'd love to know if someone lived there. Oh, they're just like, God, this was a great deal, but hell, yeah. There's people there's in my people yard everywhere. all the time. Yeah, this is incredible. Well, I don't even have a yard. I got dirt. There's, yeah, yeah. I, I'll have to do do some weed eating. There's just around a guy there. in there with a with just a gun in there. He's yeah. like, if they find one, yeah, he's like, they're gonna regret it. Somebody just gets a big haul. Just there he is. Wow, that guy looks like he might be holding some sort of weapon there on the left. I mean, it's so funny to go run? look for diamonds. You're like, where are you digging? I don't. You know where everybody else digs the same all the time. <laughs> like it's you're like, not. It's not like a new hole. You're just like, yeah. yeah it's I like, yeah. There's been five thousand visitors yeah. this week. I think we are going to be the ones. <laughs> I think that some guy just back in September found one of the biggest ones ever. Yeah, it was there. It was massive. How what? How big it's like was it? Nine carats or nine something. Nine carats yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow. How crazy? How much is, is that it? worth? Um, at least a hundred hundred grand. Yeah, I think it was about a hundred grand. They said. Um, I made that up and I nailed it. I yeah. thought it'd be a lot more. The three fun. largest diamonds ever found in America were found in Arkansas. Wow. Is it worth like that's a lot? That guy like, right there, yeah, you found a nine carat. Is nine carats enough to like <laughs> oh, spend man. your life? He looks pretty happy with I himself. Know. He looks like he said he almost Brian, did. the razor he looks back like, uh, <laughs> So I guess you take the rocks to the check-in station and then they tell you if they're worth anything. He said he almost didn't even show that one. Because he thought it was nothing. And yeah. then they called him in the back office and said, you found the second largest one we've ever had. That's crazy. I mean, that's the second largest one? According to the, I guess I just don't know a lot about diamonds. That looks like If you told nothing. me that guy was your brother-in-law, I'd believe it. <laughs> 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 he looks like maybe a mixture between both of you guys. <laughs> that looks like both of you. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that you guys aren't laughing, I guess if that means it's That's, an insult. Oh, no, I, it's great. It's great. <laughs> it just, it's not an insult. It's just very. If I that, saw y'all walk up together, I'd like, be would like, that be worth? I wish it, it was to go find that little of a diamond. hundred grand is a lot of money, but yes, it would be. Yeah, it'd be worth yeah, it for sure. It'd be worth it. Yeah. How long do you think that guy was there? Ten Weeks? minutes. Well, I, yeah, that guy. He he said ten minutes. No, he was there uh, one day for. I think yeah, he it's found like that, a like, tourist. Yeah. yeah, you just thing. go. So you're just going to do it. Yeah, you do walk away. Yeah, I mean yeah. you're you're now grand. you don't even care. You're <laughs> like, doing yeah. Like oh, it's just a hundred grand. You still got. No, I would do anything. I would living. do it for. I do it for five hundred dollars. Yeah. I'd be stoked. But it seems like people commit their entire lives. That's what I never get about like the the treasure hunting shows. Yeah, where it's like if you're when I hear about treasure, it's like you better be getting millions of dollars because they're spending a lot of money to be there, and then they find like this gold, and it's like yeah we're going to be able to make it to the next season because we found this gold. Yeah. They're not like finding this massive like, You think it's going to be like $30 million and then like, or even a million or yeah, even million, 500 yeah. grand. But like, it's most of the time it's like, this is awesome. It's like eight grand. And it's like, yeah. that's a lot of money, but you've also been, you've also spent a hundred to get here yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah. Why it's didn't you save the hundred? Yeah. For the most part, even like the big ones, <laughs> They just find a bunch. Yeah, you could have just not. You like this guy, don't you? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's good. What's his name? He looks like a Brian a little bit. I think it's or a Gary. Oh, a little Canard. Yeah. Carl, maybe. Yeah. Canard. What's his name? Carl Canard. <laughs> Carl Canard. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Canard. This guy didn't want anyone yeah. coming after his diamond, is what it was. Like, yeah. what's your name? Carl. Yeah. Canard. Canard. Yeah. <laughs> Carl. Carl. He's like, don't you be coming after this diamond? All right. He's like, well, that's not even his. He's shaved right before this. He yeah. didn't want anyone to recognize him. He's like, now that I got money, I, I don't need to be recognized. He's a Missouri fan. He got that hog hat out of the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> shaved right before. Oh, Were you a hog fan? I am. I'm a huge Razorback fan. Yeah. So did yeah. you like Darren McFadden was probably in your childhood? Darren McFadden was yeah. That I mean, was like was, incredible. It was yeah. Darren McFadden was like the great. It was he was a hero. But I, I honestly the game they lost to Tennessee. Yeah. The what? The game they lost to Tennessee. It was uh, dark times. I know. Do you remember that? Yeah, that I do. Fumble. The Clint Sterner. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. I watched honestly they, Tennessee mainly, won ninety eight. That was USC Tennessee game won, was uh, brutal. Uh, yeah. What is it? And they played USC and just got <laughs> destroyed. Matt, that was Matt. It was Matt, Matt Jones. Jones and Darren McFadden. Yeah. I, yeah. Matt Jones, Jones actually too. bought like this was like the big claim to fame to Natural Dam at the time. <laughs> like he bought property. He never went there, but he bought like two hundred acres. Oh wow! Like yeah. coming into Natural Dam, and I don't think he ever went there. And it wasn't like he never built a house or anything. And it also two hundred acres there is like 
at that time it was probably like thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. Cheap. It's going up after this podcast. Though. It is. It is. It's going yeah. up a, a lot. The world's first cheese dip was invented in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Now we're talking. Hmm. To this day, the World Cheese Dip really? Championship is held in Little Rock each year. That yeah. might explain why I have a real issue. With yeah, it. that's how John on. Daly got made. <laughs> <laughs> Just cheese dip and beer. <laughs> yeah, it was some factory somewhere. Like you've heard of beer cheese? Yeah, he was the first. He was one. the first one. John yeah. Daly, the most another famous Ar- Arkansas. Yeah, he's awesome. He's golfer. A, he's a John Nashville. Daly, golfer, and uh, there was. I was just talking to someone about him. Crazy because everybody kind of knows him. We we're talking about is he the most outside of Tiger? Is he the most famous golfer in the world? Not counting like Jack Nicholas. Not kind of like I mean, Phil Mickelson and John Daly. I is, think John Daly is probably is more so, famous than, than he's both a, of those guys. I, yeah, I, would, I, I would argue, I dude. I mean, I John know. Daly, a Especially, big yellow mullet, big fat guy that wears his stuff, and the stories that go with him. He's talked yeah. about on everything. You, for he's the Bill Murray. You, of if golf. you know nothing about golf, yeah, you're not going like you could be like I don't know Phil Mickelson, or maybe you've heard his name or something like that. John Daly is of stories. They talk about his stories. His gambling. His, you know, it's, you're just, I'm, his name is everywhere. And just, he's, everybody knows. Everybody knows. He is. He's, he's like the fourth most uh, expensive cameo. <laughs> is what? he really? Uh, it's like $780 to get him to make oh, a video. Dude. Does, uh, so, but he, John Daly, uh, I mean, say how crazy is, maybe the most talented golfer to ever live as well. Yeah. Pure talent. His son is very, very talented. His son's seven fifty for a cameo. Yeah, seven fifty. Twenty four hour delivery though. He's on top of it. He's on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for seven fifty bucks. <laughs> the grip it and rip yeah. it king. Do you do cameo? He. I do not. I don't either. It's a. Uh, they ask a lot. They ask quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them. A lot of different people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. Hey, <laughs> you want to talk? You like, like how many talking. workers do yeah. you guys have? Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. John Daly's guy. I, I would. I would argue that he is. Maybe yeah. the, the he's up there, man. I mean, I know you, if you're into golf, you think yeah. no, but you got to think the people that don't know nothing about golf, they all before know John I Daly. got obsessed with golf, and it wasn't just because he was from Arkansas. I knew who John Daly was and who Tiger Woods was. Mm-hmm. Obviously, knew who Tiger was, but that was I didn't know Phil Mickelson going. I feel like Phil Mickelson has become more famous in the last yeah three uh-huh. or four years. Yeah, it, it really had a resurgence because people almost they got yeah. to know his. You know his, Justin like, Thomas, comedian. Yeah, Justin Rose. Yeah, you've heard of Justin Rose. Yeah. yeah. Is leading the Masters. He's blown away. Just He's blown away. Yeah. I'm trying to think you of do? someone that. But uh, when I was growing up watching Sanders golf Shop. with my uncles and stuff, it was all. I feel like it was always Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. Were it always was, for a long it was. time. Phil got fam- I feel like Phil was like he benefited off of. Yeah. Not he was. He's he, of course he's unbelievable. But you know what I mean. That rivalry right there yeah. was like he was the, not yeah. the villain, but he was the. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was John Daly. Just kind of you got to think of all the people that don't watch golf know who he is. Well, kid, and the people that the watch golf rock. all know him. Everyone that watches golf, it's everybody that watches golf or even somewhat aware of golf knows Phil Mickelson. They definitely know John Daly. No one's yeah. going well. Yeah. Who's John Daly? So you got all those people. Everybody that would know them. Yeah. And now you got to look at the people that know nothing about golf. Well, and you're thinking the people who know Jack Nicholas are dying off, and younger people don't know him as well. I mean, the people that are not into golf, I don't. Yeah, I mean, who? Yeah, if you're, yeah, you're talking John about Daly's just, still around. Like you still see his hair, you still see his, you know, like he's at Old Hickory right now. Yeah, yeah right now. Yeah, <laughs> he's golfing in we Tennessee. Drive to him today. Yeah, but uh, that, that's the yeah. If you saw, you also think about recognize like if you recognize someone in public, like just for a random person, like would see him and be like. I think that's that golfer guy. Yes. Even if they didn't know his name. He's got so specific He's got look. such a specific Theo look. Vaughn. That's why Theo Vaughn gets – I mean, Theo yes. Vaughn's got such a – the mullet and the it, specific look. Like, anywhere he goes, you're like, yeah, that's – That's the, 100. He, there's no guessing of, like, there yeah, might be another him. guy who looks exactly yeah. like him. Like, no, that's – Phil Mickelson, he could be a guy. Yeah. If you yeah. saw on the golf course. If you see – John Daly on a golf course, you're gonna know it's him from a couple holes away. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna here it comes. You're gonna here it comes. You're gonna know. All right. Let me wrap this up. Yeah, somewhat. I mean, is there why is there way, way more? No, there's a couple yeah. more. The okay. World Championship Duck Calling Contest is every year in Stuttgart, Arkansas. Oh. Yeah. It's the duck cap it's Can the duck hunting duck capital of the world. Can you do a duck call? No, it cannot. Right. <laughs> ducks! Ducks. 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 Yeah. No, I'm like, yeah, I got a pretty good one. Like, no. I'm a world world champion uh, goat yeah, caller, yeah, so yeah. I think I got this. And goats. Do you know I the state I'll, beverage I'll of go. Arkansas? The state beverage? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I would guess sweet tea, but that's definitely not it. Um, 
Oh, let me, let me think. Uh, Doctor P- uh, Do- Doctor Thunder. Pitt. That's it's gotta be Doctor. I was gonna say it's gonna be. I'd say Mister Doctor Thunder. Yeah, yeah it's let not me, that specific. It's uh, not. It's just like soda, root beer, milk. milk. I was milk. gonna say it's milk. gotta be oh. milk. Yeah, yeah, mm. that makes sense. Uh, you ever heard of the Falk Monster? I went on this. Falk F O U K E Falk Monster, the Southern Sasquatch. What the Falk is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Comedy. He's, yeah, it's a no, Southern Sasquatch that roams in uh, Southern Arkansas and destroys livestock and farmland, and it became famous. 1971, when it grabbed a guy on a hunting trip, and then <laughs> they made a movie about it, The Legend of Boggy Creek. Are you serious? And it's become a, like a cult classic. Oh, uh, that's we have a guy, we have one of those. His name's just Barry, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it Uncle Terry? Did he grow? <laughs> he did. Yeah. Turns out he did grow. Yeah. Turns out he grows every night. Real, I gotta watch this inches. movie, dude. This looks incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it's a low budget movie, The Legend of Boggy Creek. But it was like the number eleven grossest, <laughs> highest grossing film Are you of that serious? year. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And people have been claiming to see this monster for years. Really? Yeah. Well, that's we did have a we did have a guy. He's probably not listening to this podcast, so I can I can talk about him. He is there was a guy that it was in our town that was like he was he was just in the woods. <laughs> like it was kind of scary. <laughs> like it was a oh the he guy went to jail lived. a few times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was squatting in a couple different homes. Yeah. We knew him, and he would like come to our church and stuff. And we're all like, maybe we should trust this guy. Yeah. And it was, yeah, he went to jail. But anyways, yeah, that was Barry, and he was yeah. very yeah. a strong guy. They might have been him. Yeah, they made a movie. Could about have him. been him to be honest. <laughs> Y'all should let him know they made a movie about yeah. him. Yeah, he's actually famous. He is very famous. <laughs> he's killing it. Uh, all right, uh, Arkansas. Arkansas, super Arkansas, super. Go listen to every Dan and Shay. I like to say that you're yeah. you're selling out arenas all over. Everybody, uh, you haven't checked out uh, just music yeah, yeah, in we, general. Yeah, yeah. where could they? Uh, Dan and Shay. It's is it Dan supposed plus? to be? Am I reading that right? Am I reading that? Mm. Uh, <laughs> Both uh, of them. There's only one guy. Yeah, supposed to be the uh, supposed to be a duo. It's you're good, you're gonna we're gonna we try to get you to be this. You make a song for the podcast. Yep. Build on that. Oh, well, I already wrote one. I've written then we two. Got Doug, yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. What was your song? <laughs> yeah. How'd it go? Yeah. No, he did write a song. I, I don't know. I don't have it. I'll play it when. It, yeah. What yeah. was it? it was... If you need a hand, this night land could be yeah. a pretty good one. Yeah. You okay. know, I just made that one up. Yeah. But you know, let's yeah. see. Yeah. We can play you made that it up? again. This night land. <laughs> yeah. I, guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a lot of them. I could do yeah. this all day long. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you could have a, a soft approach where you just have music and then you just say Nate Land. That was one of the ideas. We have, uh, yeah, we Doug did ours. <laughs> safety suit, that Doug sounds Brown. Like, yeah. That sounds like you said it in a way where we're just Annie. like this guy. We're just playing Felix. Annie from Safety yeah. Suit. Guy, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're gonna have to be six, 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 that's how you know. We just yeah. do like a, a little, like it was a song, and that's how we let everybody know. That's kind of like goats. the, that's how the, uh, oh, like folks. Nickelodeon, where they're like, yeah. it was like, hi, I'm Paul. Yeah. There's always the ones, and at the end of, uh, there's like the the policeman, he's the the Mexican guy. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. have a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You remember that one? It was like a, right. yeah, it was the best. Oh, yikes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. I got you out. back, dude. No, that's right. what it is, though. You know we'll what? We're going to start with that one. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Like, there's this Mexican guy. Yeah. They're just like that's how it starts. Like, that's how it goes. We have, <laughs> yeah, it just ruins it. Uh, yeah. All right, okay. thank you everybody for listening. As always, we love you. Bye. In goats, in goats, <laughs> the way it is. Out goats.